started with doing that ladies and gentlemen let's take care of some housekeeping items for those of you who do not know who i am i go by the name zeus or as some like to say triple h and why do they call me triple h ladies and gentlemen well it's quite simple the first h stands for honesty i'm the most honest person on social media there's nobody more honest than me all right the second h ladies and gentlemen is because i'm humble there's nobody more humble than me all right listen if i get it wrong i will be the first to apologize I just haven't been wrong lately, all right? And then the last and the final H, ladies and gentlemen, is because I am and will always remain the most handsome. <laughs> Greetings, Southern Live. All right, listen. 
Uh, many of you are familiar with what we do over here on this side of town, on this side of TikTok. What we do is very special, all right? What we do is we, we hold our friends on the right, especially their leader, Donald J. Trump, accountable for their dirty, disgusting, filthy deeds, as well as their crimes. Good morning, Miss Boss Diva, all right? And believe you me, when it comes to our friends on the right, especially those MAGA Republicans, there's a lot of, a lot of dirty, disgusting, filthy deeds, right? And so with that being said, uh, I got something to say to you uh, Trump supporters out there. You know who you are. You seditionists, treasonous traitors. Uh, if you are, as my good friend Brother Swervin likes to say, factose intolerant. That means you have an allergic reaction. Good morning, Tiffany. When you, when you, when you uh, are exposed to the facts. Uh, you might want to leave this live, all right, because it's going to get very, very uncomfortable for you. You know what I came to do, all right? Uh, I don't allow Trump supporters to be victims around me, all right? So go on, leave this live, and go on with your miserable mornings, your miserable days, all right? Go hang out with those fake TikTok hosts. You know who they are. Those are the likes. They go by the names of Snuggles and stuff like that, those fake Christians, uh, liars, those who peddle the Russian misinformation. All right, all right, because it's going to get uncomfortable in here. And I know you don't believe me, so get this. You don't got to take my word for it. Listen to your leader. If you're not happy here, then you can leave. Right. As far as I'm concerned, if you hate our country. Right. If you're not happy here, you can leave. If you're not happy in the U.S., right. if you're complaining all the time, very simply, right. you can leave. You can leave you right now. Snuggles? You hear that, Jay Bear? You want, don't come back. It's okay, too. But if you're not happy, you can leave. Exactly. You hear that, Snuggles? You hear that, Jay Bear? You hear that, MAGA in general? Ladies and gentlemen, I firmly believe that if you want to make America great again, right, Wanda? If you want to make America great again, ladies and gentlemen, the best thing Donald Trump and his supporters can do is leave these United States of America. All right, I, I, I'm getting really fed up with the nonsense that they're out here crying about. MAGA, how do you figure out what to cry about? Listen, seriously, ladies and gentlemen, it's like they wake up every morning with something new to cry about. Oh, Zeus, I got to work two jobs. This is what they tell me in order to be able to survive. Oh, oh, okay. So what would you, what snuggles? What would you prefer to do then, Snuggles? Would you rather just sit at home in the basement, huh? Crying to your mom all day, Snuggles? Or would you rather be a man and get out here and work? Come on, Snuggles, cut it out. These Trump supporters, ladies and gentlemen, they got something new to cry about every single... I don't Sonny, right? This is what they say. This is what they say. I don't have money around and send Donald Trump your 401k, your checking, your savings accounts. You don't even put gas in your cars. You send the money to Donald Trump. And then you get on TV and you start crying on Fox News. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't normally do this, but I'm getting really flustered with MAGA, all right? And the tears. MAGA, you will not be allowed to cry around Zeus under no, sir. I don't care. I really don't care. Ladies and gentlemen, you know what? We're going to do it a little bit early. Join me in giving Donald Trump and his supporters what they rightfully deserve because all they do is moan and groan, all right, like the children in the Bible in Israel, right? They were complaining, and then guess what? They were in the desert for quite a while, and that's what I think is going to happen to MAGA. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give them some booze and shame. Get them out of here. Silence, you See, I'm not like Donald Trump. I'm not going to refer to you as hostages. I'm going to call you what you really are. Traitors, liars, grifters, incels. You know, these guys, right, Tiffany? There's some MAGA men out here. Nah, they can't, they, 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 they're having a hard time on the dating scene. Did it, has anyone ever told you why you're having a hard time on the dating scene, MAGA? Because... No woman in their right mind would ever, and I, and I mean this, I actually have scientific evidence. A majority of women don't want to date men who worship Donald Trump. You hear me? So that's why you're an incel. All right, and nope, nope, nope. You can sit there and say Zeus and the Democrats are Soros funded. You can sit there and make up all these lies about me. 
But I'm being real honest, all right? So if you really want to, you know, move on in life and find love, you MAGA demons out there, you MAGA men, you're going to have to, you're going to have to denounce Donald Trump. And I seriously mean that. So don't send me any more DMs talking about you can't hook up with any girls. These women out here are hard to date. No, the problem isn't them. It's you. <laughs> You, you wouldn't believe, ladies and gentlemen, honestly, these, these MAGA men, they send me some weird, and you know, those guys like clickbait, right, snuggles, they're having a hard time in the love department, and they don't understand, it's because you worship Donald Trump, Gary, my good friend Gary yesterday, he came into my live, you all saw him, Gary, listen up, before you come into the kingdom and decide to send Zeus a guest request, this is serious business, please, Take care of home, all right? Your primary responsibilities are to take care of your wife, your family, and your children. And then maybe if there's some time in between, you can get in get in the box and talk to Zeus. All right, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> well, uh, now let's get into today's topics, ladies and gentlemen, because this is uh, this is a good sign for us Democrats, right? This is a great sign. Panic mode, all right? Panic mode is setting in, all right? That Donald Trump had been counting on Chubb in giving him the money for that bond. Donald Trump was relying on Chubb Corporation underwriting, all right, for the $464 million bond he needs to pay by Monday. And the company's refusal to do so has left him panicking <laughs> ladies and gentlemen donald trump is down and now he's it's bad you imagine you know you know I, I mean i've never been in a space where i needed 464 million dollars right but imagine right you needed 20 dollars and you needed that 20 dollars bad right and, and you called everybody you called everybody in your book your phone Hey, I just need $20. If you could bless me with $20, you would be doing God. And everybody says no, right? You know that feeling? Donald Trump, ladies and gentlemen, is going through that very thing right now. Chubb, I need $464 million. You came through for me last time with the E. Jean Carroll play. I loved you for that. Listen, when I get back in the White House, I'm going to do everything for you, Chubb. Just give me the $464 million bond. This is how you... Uh, 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 Donald... Donald, I talked to everybody and they said, we just can't do it. This is <laughs> we just can't do it. Oh, my gosh. You know, that was nasty, right? Him and Melania, they were in the house together. He had to hang the phone up. Melania, they said no. Donald, they said no. Yeah, they said no. And she just got up and walked out. You know, relationship officially over. All right. It's all coming crashing down in Donald Trump's world, ladies and gentlemen. All right. CNN Caitlin's Collin yesterday said that the former president was counting on the insurance company to bail him out with the damages he owes after his civil fraud trial, just as it did when they supplied uh, the money for the ninety one million dollars that he was found liable for with E. Jean Carroll. Collins said that she learned from sources close to Donald Trump. I think she learned it from Melania. <laughs> I think she did learn it from Melania. Oh, that as Monday's deadline approaches, panic mode is setting in, all right? Chubb had been actively negotiating with Trump and his co-defendants, according to statements released by Trump organization lawyer Alan Garten, all right? Then within the past week, Chubb changed his direction and notified defendants that it could not accept real property as collateral. Though disappointing, this decision was not surprising Given that Chubb was the only surety willing to even consider accepting the real estate collateral. <laughs> Snuggles, Jay Bear. Who else is out there? Stacy Bear. Did I miss anyone? Any of you uh, Trump supporters on TikTok? <laughs> Listen, please leverage all of your assets ASAP and get Donald Trump this money. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you too, 382 Jim. Join me. Oh, you two, uh, clickbait. I'll never call you by your new name. You'll always be clickbait. You'll all be always be trash bait. Change your name back, really. Ladies and gentlemen, join me in giving Donald Trump and his supporters what they deserve this bright and early on a Wednesday morning. All right. March 20th. Another round of booze and shame. Get him out of here.
you, you Mac Arthur, demon. Um, does anybody does anybody feel sorry for MAGA in the audience? I'm I, I'm 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 doing this here and there. I want to keep the, I want to make sure I don't go too far. So can y'all let me know if I'm going too far? Does anybody out there feel sorry for MAGA? By a show of hands, please. Nathan, thank you for the subscription. No, no. <laughs> well. The gloves are officially off, ladies and gentlemen. Now, many of you know my style. I'm probably one of the nicest people on this app, but now the gloves are off. The stuff that I'm saying now, ladies and gentlemen, three weeks ago, I wouldn't have said it. I never would have said it. But we can't be kind to these folks anymore because guess what? The gloves are off and the jar is open. Everyone knows he's... And I wouldn't have said this three weeks right. ago. Right. I wouldn't have said it. I was actually very kind to him. I was very kind to him, but now we can't be kind anymore because the gloves are off. Right. The jar has been opened. The gloves are off and the jar has been opened, right, Jess? And we all know who opened that jar. That they took the gloves off. It was Donald Trump. The day Donald Trump started that birther conspiracy nonsense, he spread it around like wildfire. The gloves were off. And January 6th is the day that the jar was opened, ladies and gentlemen. And no, I don't feel any bit of remorse for doing what I do. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got some more bad news, MAGA. I do, I do. All right, go get your snuggly blankets, all right, and go cuddle up in your snuggly blankets, all right, and and, and leave the light on tonight. <laughs> X. GOP lawmakers spot a bad sign for Donald Trump hidden in the latest numbers. You know, these Trump supporters, they love those poll numbers, though, right? Live live by the polls. Thank you, Greg. Thank you, Z-Pot. Live by the polls. You're going to die by the polls. Listen, former Representative uh, Adam Kinzinger said that Donald Trump's victory in Tuesday night's Republican primaries across multiple states comes with some serious, serious red flags. While the former president won handedly in Florida, Ohio, Arizona, Kansas, and Illinois, the number of people who turned out to vote against him was unusually high, <laughs> especially given that all of his rivals have quit the race. Trump won 81% of the vote in Florida, 79, I mean, 81% in Florida, 79% in Ohio, 80% in Illinois, 77% in Arizona, 75% in Kansas, based on the results, all right? Former South Carolina governor, Nikki Haley, who dropped out two weeks ago, she won 14 to 20% of the votes in those states. Wow. <laughs> Oh my gosh, the fact that Haley is still getting almost 20% in these states after dropping out is a bad sign. <laughs> it's a bad sign for MAGA. Other critics, ladies and gentlemen, they had more to say. 20% of Republican voters in Florida voting for Haley? 15% for DeSantis, 4% for Chris Christie, <laughs> and the list goes on. After all of them have dropped out is another very bad sign for Donald Trump and MAGA. It really is. They can't spin it on the Democrats crossing over this time because Florida is completely closed. Republicans only primary. So that's what we're going to do, ladies and gentlemen, because these Trump supporters, they still think there's hope out there because guess what they do? They believe everything Donald Trump says <laughs> and they don't have any shame. Uh, I'm going to need you all to join me in helping them understand that this is a bad sign. For those of you who can, please get the tomatoes out, the blueberries into my subscribers, you know, get the booze out as well. Ladies and gentlemen, join me in giving Donald Trump and his MAGA base you know, he's the leader of the cult, and they are in a cult, and they are also his soldiers. Join me in giving them what they deserve. Another round of booze and shame! This is a bad sign, MAGA. Can't blame the Democrats. <laughs> you can't blame us. 
get silenced, you MAGA demons. All right, let's move on into some more failures of MAGA. All right, Democrats plan to upend the Biden impeachment inquiry by calling <clears throat> Giuliani henchmen to testify. Another, and you know this is going on today, right? Another sign of more bad news to come for MAGA. I live for this. I really do. Nothing makes me happier than knowing the truth is getting out here to millions of people all across this country, actually throughout the world, when it comes to what's really going on in United States politics, right? And we know that they have no dirt on President Joe Biden. At best, at best, ladies and gentlemen, all they got is something with Hunter Biden. That's it. <clears throat> Nothing that ties Hunter Biden to his father. Nothing. But yet and still, these liars will get out here on social media and say otherwise. Don't believe these Trump supporters out there. For those of you who are out there in the audience, listen up. You don't know me. I don't know you. But one thing you and I need to have a good understanding about. 99, actually 110% of all Trump supporters are liars. They don't have any facts. I've been doing this show for well into over two years. Not one time. Has a Trump supporter gotten to my box, you know, came into the live and brought any evidence, you know, because all you got to do is come in the box, turn on your your green screen and show us the photo of whatever it is that you're talking about. Never in my life has a Trump supporter been able to do that. All right. So I'm telling you the God honest truth. Do not believe any Trump supporters, especially there's a guy out there. His name is Snuggles. All right, and he's a struggler. Struggle bubbles, struggle pancakes, struggle honey buns, <laughs> struggle in the way. Yeah. yeah, he's a struggler. Don't believe oh. him either. He seems like a good person to believe, right? He and he and he's really emotional, right? So you really can get lured into his nonsense. Don't believe him. He's a Trump supporter. He's a liar. He graduated from Trump University and then he turned around and opened up his own university called Snuggles University. All right. And he goes on TikTok siphoning money from his supporters. But get this. He's not really as wealthy as he likes to say he is because guess what? We all know it. He lives in the basement with his mom. Don't listen to this guy, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Now let's get back on topic. House Democrats will call convicted criminal and one-time Rudy Giuliani henchman Lev Parnas to testify in the impeachment probe against President Joe Biden. The Ukrainian-American businessman who worked alongside Rudy Giuliani, and remember Rudy Giuliani has been indicted, all right? Rudy Giuliani has been sued, all right? But this is who he was, you know, working with. Uh, he worked along Rudy Giuliani ahead of the 2020 election to dig up dirt about Biden and his son, Hunter Biden, and will be testifying alongside Tony Bubulinski, a former associate of the president's family who has made unsubstantiated allegations about their business dealings. Lev Parnas can debunk the bogus claims at the heart of the impeachment probe and in the process explain how the GOP ended up in this degraded and embarrassing place, says Representative Jamie Raskin, the ranking Democrat on the House Oversight Committee. House Republicans eagerly lapped up conspiracy theories. They lapped up these conspiracy theories Parnas had peddled with Rudy, Rudy Giuliani, such as their claim that Biden as vice president corruptly tried to use his authority to pressure Ukraine to fire a top prosecutor who was investigating the energy company Burisma to protect his son who served on the company's board at the time. That conspiracy theory, <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen, or I'm going to call it what it is, that lie formed the basis of the GOP defense against Donald Trump's 2019 impeachment and remains a key allegation against Biden. But Parnas has recanted those claims and was eventually charged with lying about Biden and his son's dealings with Burisma. You hear this? Do you hear this? You fake TikTok hosts, you fake TikTok lawyers. Do you hear what I just said? He recanted his statements, all right, and was eventually charged with lying about Biden. So listen up, my fellow Americans out there. 
This is another example of how you could be hoodwink and bamboozled by Donald Trump. All right. And this is why I get up and do what I do every single morning, despite the fact sometimes I don't want to. Ladies and gentlemen, join me once again in giving MAGA another round of booze and shame because we caught him once again lying on President Biden. Let's give him some booze and shame. <laughs> Goodbye, Jim Jordan. Goodbye, James Comer. Silence, you never demon. Yeah, 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 yeah. And guess where we're back? We're back on those polls again. You know these Trump supporters, they love them some polls. Thank you, Infinite Zone. <laughs> yo, baby daddy, I'm so glad that you were able to make it to my show once again. Do me a huge favor, yo, baby daddy. Listen, come a little closer to this. Come a little closer to the screen, yo, baby daddy. I've been waiting for you. Do me a huge favor, champ. I seen the programs you've been running on TikTok. All, all based on lies and misinformation. Everyone you have on your show, they got to have less than a third grade education. Do me a favor, uh, yo baby daddy. Come real close and listen up. You need to do me a favor. Don't type another thing in my chat, all right? I'm not going to block you. No, don't block him. Don't mute him or nothing. I want him to be able to speak in here. Do me a huge favor, champ. You need to sit your special behind down and listen to this special broadcast. <laughs> Hey, yo, baby daddy, I got something to say to you. There's a new joke going around. I haven't told you this one. Maybe you have. Maybe you haven't heard it. All right. Listen, uh, yo, baby daddy, listen. Uh, go in the bathroom late at night at around 3 a.m. Do this. Turn the lights and get them real dim. All right. Spin around and go. Jack Smith. Oh. And then you spin around again and you go. Jack Smith. <laughs> I hear if you do it the third time, the FBI will show up. All right. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it, all right? I'm not going to do it. You know what happens when the FBI shows up, right? You know what they'll do? That. Did the FBI do that? Because they also did something where they put documents all over the floor, so they took pictures. <laughs> G-Man, my man, G-Man, good morning. Yeah, they're going to come set you up, all right? Now, let's get back to it, all right? A new poll shows warning signs for Trump ahead of his Manhattan trial. All right. So not only do we got people not willing to vote for Donald Trump in the Republican Party. All right. 20 percent, 14 to 20 percent are going to Nikki Haley. But we got some more bad news about those polls. A new political magazine poll suggests that former President Donald Trump may not be Teflon Don when it comes to his coming trial in Manhattan, alleging that he falsified business records to conceal hush money payments ahead of the 2016 election. All right. According to the survey, a sizable chunk of independents would be less likely to vote for Trump if he were convicted in that trial. And we know he's going to be. <laughs> the poll, which sampled a thousand adults in March, found that plurality of respondents, 44 percent, said that a conviction in the Manhattan trial, it wouldn't affect the likelihood that they would support president, the former president. But, and I must say this, 32% said it would make them less likely to support him. Meanwhile, 13% overwhelmingly Republican said it would make them more likely to support Trump. And 9% said that they didn't know. Okay. Among the critical demographic of independence, the numbers were slightly worse for Trump. While again, 44% said they wouldn't change their support. This 36% of respondents said that they would less likely support him. 9% said they would be more likely to support him. And again, 9% said that they didn't know. All right. All right. And here's the thing, ladies and gentlemen. A conviction could alienate some of the coveted independents for both parties. And they are desperate to win over these swing states. All right. And, money, and these voters are saying if they don't end up voting for Trump, guess what? They'll vote for President Biden. And so, ladies and gentlemen. You know what we came to do? Join me once again in giving Donald Trump and his supporters what they rightfully deserve because they don't get it. All right. They don't get it. Politics is about addition, not subtraction. Right. And it's clear to everyone all over the face of the earth. The MAGA base is all about subtraction. Ladies and gentlemen, join me in giving them what they deserve. Another round of booze and shame. <laughs> Ben, 
I'm not going to say your last name because I get what you're trying to lure me into too. But ladies and gentlemen, there's this guy in my comment section named Ben Dover. All right. And he learned that joke from The Simpsons. I get it. Ben, I'm going to call you Nasty Ben. I don't I don't spread hate on my platform, Ben. Maybe you've been in maybe you stumbled into the wrong live. This live is all about love and truth. All right, Ben? So do me a huge favor, Ben, cuz maybe maybe you didn't hear me at the top of the show where I made it crystal clear to everybody, especially folks like you. Let me go ahead and remind you, Ben. Let me go ahead and remind you what I said at the top of the show. Number one, you're not allowed to be a victim around Zeus, Ben. I don't allow Trump supporters to be victims around me. Guess what? The facts are on my side, Ben. All right? And the second thing is this. If you're not happy here, then you can leave. As far as I'm concerned, if you hate our country, if you're not happy here, you can leave. If you're not happy in the U.S., if you're complaining all the time, very simply, you can leave. You can leave right now. Come back if you want. Don't come back. It's okay, too. But if you're not happy, you can leave. You hear that, Ben? Not another word out of you. Not another word, Ben. Think about all the harm you and your friends have caused this country. I will not tolerate it. All right? Now, let's move it along, ladies and gentlemen. Is his last name Bobby? <laughs> ah, Takesha, you know, it might be. Let's move it along, ladies and gentlemen. All right? Now, this is a story I wasn't going to bring to the kingdom. But then, you know what? I decided we got to talk about it, right? <clears throat> <sighs> Nothing blows my mind more than seeing people in my comments write silly things like, Blacks for Trump. Or Latins for Trump, right? You 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 see this stuff, and you can't help but wonder what in the heck happened. How did you get to such a space? How did how did how did you get to a space where you said, you know what? I know they my enemy, but you know what? They my friends. I I, I just don't see how you got there. All right. But I got to bring you back to reality, all right? And this is a good way to do it. This is another example of somebody possessed with a mega demon only to come to the, the same conclusion that the cult that they were in all of a sudden doesn't care about them. Newsflash, you knucklehead. We've been telling you this. But see, you didn't get it. Cause you got a, your hard head, right? And you know what they say: a hard head makes for a soft. You know what? Let's talk about this. Black gay Trump supporter leaves the GOP after figuring out he'll never be accepted. You can't make this stuff up, folks. I wish I was making this up. Rob Smith is a gay and black conservative who made a name for himself by flouting his seemingly conflicting identities but that was before the online comment commentator was heckled with anti-gay slurs last december at a turning point usa event in phoenix arizona <clears throat> now three months later smith says that he is leaving the republican party for good <clears throat> in a nearly 25 minute video posted on x he says the ugly incident prompted him to reconsider his political identity. Quote, I'm always going to be a right-leaning person, but I'm not going to identify as a Republican, conservative, etc. because it's whack. That's what it is, he said. Now, the existence of homophobes and bigots in the Republican Party is hardly news. GOP party platforms across the country denounce gay people with the Texas GOP calling homosexuality, homosexuality abnormal. With the rise of anti-LGBTQ plus backlash, gay Republicans are admitting failure in their request to make the party more inclusive. But Smith didn't publicly express those views until he was personally targeted. He says white nationalists, including Missouri State Representative Chris Lonsdale, shouted homophobic and racial slurs towards him at the aforementioned December event. 
Smith shared a fresh video of the episode Tuesday, which clearly shows Lonsdale, who was wearing a red tie and hideous plaid jacket yelling, gay sex, and F words towards him. For what it's worth, the recording didn't capture any audible racial slurs. And you could go on there and find this, ladies and gentlemen. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Right, right, right. So, so he thought he had been accepted by the GOP. He thought MAGA would somehow go, oh, we're the party of good character, we're Christians, and we'll accept you being black and in the gay community. He thought this, ladies and gentlemen, he believed it. You know, the Bible says faith without works is dead, right, Takesha, right? He had faith the size of a mustard seed, right? And he really believed at the Turning Point rally in Phoenix, in Arizona, that he was going to be that one brother that was from the LGBTQ plus community that was going to spark the change. He, you know, he thought he was Martin Luther King. I'm going to be the one that sparks the change and I'm going to get Donald Trump and all of his white nationalist friends to accept me. And now look at you. Congratulations, Smith. You played yourself like a fool. Think about it. You are now just coming to the point millions of us all across the country have been at for a long time. I'm glad you came out of the fog, champ. I really am. But you got a lot more work to do because you said you're still right-leaning, which means to me that MAGA demon still has a stronghold on your special behind. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't got much time to play around with Rob Smith crazy behind. I don't got much time to play with him. Do better, champ. But guess what we're going to do since he still doesn't have it quite together yet. We're going to have to give him what he deserves. Because he has no shame, we got to give it to him. Ladies and gentlemen, join me in giving Rob Smith, the black gay Trump supporter, what he deserves. Because he just found out that the party he's aligned with doesn't like him. All right, and now his feelings are hurt. Ladies and gentlemen, join me in giving him what he deserves. Another round of booze and shame. Do better. Do better. Silence. You never Rob, Rob, do me a favor, champ. You know what? Don't go on your platform. Don't go on X again. Come on to this kingdom and let us continue to let us minister to you and get your soul right. All right, Rob, because maybe you didn't know this, but I'm going to tell you it. All right. The ultimate MAGA reward and you're on your way to getting it is jail. And if you don't get your soul right, hell, with a chapter 11 in between, Rob Smith. Jesus, you're out here embarrassing yourself and your family. I mean, the fact, ladies and gentlemen, you should go look at this. He's partying with white nationalists. How? You know what? I'm going to leave it alone. I'm going to leave it alone. I'm going to leave it alone with you, Rob. You know, I got to give it to him, ladies and gentlemen. Let's give Rob another round of booze and shame. Oh, Ain't no way. Silence. You never gave me. You got these stories out here about police officers in Mississippi, you know, torturing black men there's a story out there go look it up and and, and and being brought to account being held accountable this is what's been going on in our country rob and yet you found your special behind partying with these folks uh-uh uh-uh nope nope rob <laughs> I, I i mean words can't express how how disappointed i am in you that means everyone around you that told you to get out of this nasty cult you were in you ignored them. Because what? You thought you were special? <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, you can't make this stuff up. <clears throat> all right, let's move it along, ladies and gentlemen. I don't got much time. I got to open up these boxes real soon. All right, I know I do. Oh, look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Who is this? Mickey M. How many, how many followers do you have, Mickey M? All right, well, M, uh, Mickey M, do me a favor. When I open up these boxes... Uh, please send a guest request to me, and I would love for you to let me know what I've lied about. 
And you know the rule. Bring something to put on the green screen to back up your claim, all right? Because if you're just going to get up here with emotions and whatnot, spare me the outrage. I could care less how you feel. I don't care how you feel. I want the facts. I want the truth, all right, Mickey? And in the meantime, in between time, Mickey, <laughs> stick to the script. Silence, you maga demon. Silence, you maga demon, all right? All right, let's move it along, ladies and gentlemen. Listen, you can tell these Trump supporters they don't they don't like it when I get out here and tell the truth. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. No strings attached. I am not a hand puppet. All right. I'd rather tell the truth and be realer than you, MAGA, than to be sitting in a jail cell out in Washington D.C. because I believed Donald Trump and his lie. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. <clears throat> You, I mean, think about it. Think about it. Those folks are in jail because they listen to Donald Trump. Simple. That's it. There's no trick to that. <laughs> I'd never do such a thing. All right. Let's move it along. Judge Cannon could be removed from the case altogether after uh, her latest stunt. U.S. District Court Judge Eileen Cannon could be removed from the classified documents case against Donald Trump. Let's go. <laughs> Get her out of there. On Monday, Cannon shocked experts by proposing jury instructions that would suggest that a president had sole authority to declare documents as personal records, essentially dismissing the case against Trump. All right. They say that Cannon is on track to lose jurisdiction in the case. Quote, over the last six months, a slow moving car crash of a case has been unfolding with a judge who seems committed to protecting the former president at every turn of the road. At worst, she is doing all she can to protect the former president from facing the classified documents case before the election, if at all. Legal experts have, su have suggested that special counsel Jack Smith may be forced to appeal to a higher court. Should Smith ask an appellate court to review Judge Cannon's ruling, not only is he likely to get those decisions reversed, her actions to delay and attempt to block the effort to bring the former president to justice may end up <clears throat> getting her removed from the case altogether. <clears throat> I hope to God this does happen. I really do. Because Judge Aileen Cannon has been compromised. All right. I get it. <clears throat> Whatever she did to get that appointment, it's a. She can't she can't stop doing what she's doing now to bring the rule of law to the American people, because we deserve to know the truth about whether or not Donald Trump is a criminal, don't we? <clears throat> so, ladies and gentlemen, you know what? Uh, I, I do believe in what Jack Smith is doing. He doesn't need us to tell him what to do. He's on top of this like white on rice. Right. Right. Attacking. So all we got to do is do what we've been doing. Ladies and gentlemen, join me in giving Judge Eileen Cannon, Aileen Cannon, however you say her name. What she rightfully deserves because she sold her soul to Donald Trump and it still wasn't enough. Join me in giving her what she deserves. Another round of booze and shame. Oh, I saw what you did. I saw what you did. I saw what you did. Oh, oh, I saw what they did. Oh my God! You see this? You see this maga demon in my chat? You see what they said? Oh, I saw what you did. I knew you were going to go there. He's. What did they say? Oh yeah. What did they say? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, Stephen Heard said the judge in the Fonnie Willis trial wasn't compromised. Wow, Stephen Heard. You must be a Snuggles University graduate, Stephen Heard. Because I've never heard that conspiracy before, Stephen Heard. When did you graduate, Stephen Heard? Because I got some bad news for you, Stephen Heard. <laughs> you have no evidence to support that claim that you just made. But Stephen Heard. I'm going to give you the opportunity of a lifetime. <clears throat> when I open up these boxes in just a few minutes, Stephen Heard, please bring up a screenshot 
all right, of whatever it is you're trying to get us to understand. Because, you know, I I speak manganese, but what you just said, I got no answers for it, champ. All right, ladies and gentlemen, join me in giving Stephen Hurd. All right, the only thing he's heard is Snuggles, what he deserves. Another round of booze and shame. Goodbye, Stephen Hurd. Oh, yeah, somebody said it's the same old BS in this live. Well, listen up, champ. You must not have heard this part. If you're not happy here, <laughs> then you can leave. As far as I'm concerned, if you hate our country, if you're not happy here, you can leave. If you're not happy in the U.S., if you're complaining all the time, very simply, you can leave. You can leave right now. Come back if you want. Don't come back. It's okay, too. But if you're not happy, you can leave. Right, 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 right. And that's for you, Stephen Hurd, and your cronies who are in my comment section acting like you're victims. I don't allow Trump supporters, traitors, seditionists, treasonous thugs to come into my platform and to act like they can put their feet up all over my furniture like it's January 6th all over again. I don't allow it. You do that over there in Snuggles Live and in Jay Bears Live. But when you come over here, you better act like you got some sense. All right. And if you can't act like you do, I got moderators that can help you get the point. All right. Because they got some they got some special tools that'll put you in a straight jacket. <laughs> Let's move it along, ladies and gentlemen. I got to get ready to open up the boxes real soon. Uh, thank you all for bearing with me. Right, <laughs> You all are doing great out there. Uh, um, you know, I didn't know we were going to have to bring it like this, this bright and early, uh, but, but guess what? I, it's better to stay ready, all right, so you don't got to get ready, all right? See, you thought I was just going to come out here and, and just rock you to sleep, huh, MAGA? Actually, no, that's not what I came to do. I came to wake your game up, all right? <laughs> Let's get back to it. Retired top U.S. general responds to Trump's calls for him to be unalived. Yeah. All right. Last September, former President Donald Trump accused retired General Mark Milley of committing treason, saying that as punishment, he should be put to death. Now, Milley has responded months later. Milley's comments came during a House Foreign Affairs hearing yesterday while he was questioned about the United States withdrawal from Afghanistan. However, Representative Jerry Connolly, a Democrat from Virginia, brought up the remarks from Trump to which Milley appeared to shut down. Quote, I don't agree with these comments, but it's a free country and people can say what they want. With all due respect, guys, I am here for families of Abby Gate, Milley said. I am here for the family of those that served in Afghanistan. During the botched withdrawal from Afghanistan, 13 United States service members lost their lives in the madness that broke out in the country. Despite saying he didn't like Trump's comments, Milley appeared focused solely on the topic of the hearing. Quote, and I'll leave those comments. As much as I don't care for those comments, don't agree with them. They have the right to say them, he continued. But I like to stay focused on these families. Ladies and gentlemen, you know what this is? Milley, a retired general from the United States, was, was basically subjected to Donald Trump's nasty remarks calling him a treasonous Donald Trump out of all people calling a United States general a treasonous and saying they deserve to be punished by being unalived is another example of how this guy Donald Trump does not respect our men and women in uniform and he is not fit to be the president of these United States that's not the way a commander in chief should be acting right ladies and gentlemen absolutely not so guess what we're going to do <clears throat> Let's give the real treasonous traitor, Donald Trump, what he deserves. How dare you say that about General Milley? How dare you say that, especially when we know what you've done? Stealing those classified documents and leading a charge, leading an insurrection on January 6th in which you and your MAGA Confederate soldiers placed a dagger at the throat of our democracy. Have you no shame? Have you no decency, Mr. Former President, Mr. Defendant Trump? 
Ladies and gentlemen, join me in giving Donald Trump and his supporters what they deserve once again. Another round of booze and shame! All right, now we're moving along, ladies and gentlemen, to January 6th, and then I'm going to open up these boxes, all right? <clears throat> Many of you know exactly how this story goes, all right? January 6th, ladies and gentlemen, is the day that will always be in American history as the one time where a sitting president led an insurrection against the United States of America. Yes, and why did he do it? <clears throat> because he lost to President Biden. All right, you know how this story goes. During the 2020 election in which Donald Trump uh, led this country down a dark and dangerous path by lying to the American people about the dangers of the pandemic, he planted a seed in the mind of his supporters. It's a rigged election. It's the only way we're going to lose. It's a rigged election. It's a rigged election. It's the only way we're going to lose. And with that seed in the minds of all of his supporters... He began to sow doubt into the minds that if he lost to President Biden, it was because the election was stolen. And so what happened? Well, the polls came out. The polls came out on November 3rd. All right. And the results of the polls showed that Biden was clearly the winner. Donald Trump was supposed to go out and concede and tell his supporters, his soldiers, hey, I lost to Joe Biden Let's get ready to transition this government over into his administration's hand. It was a good run. He should have did that. But what did he do? He went out there and gave a speech that if you listen to it, it's simply him watering the seed of doubt in the minds of his soldiers. And the reason I refer to them as soldiers is because Donald Trump is the modern day Jefferson Davis. All right. Such a big night. You just take a look at all of these states that we've won tonight. And then you take a look at the kind of margins that we've won them by. And, and all of a sudden, it's not like we're up 12 votes and we have 60% left. We won states and all of a sudden, I said, what happened to the election? It's off. And we have all these announcers saying, what happened? And then they said, oh, because you know what happened? They knew they couldn't win. So they said, let's go to court. And did I predict this, Newt? Did I say this? I've been saying this from the day I heard they were going to send out tens of millions of ballots. I said exactly because either they were going to win or if they didn't win, they'll take us to court. So Florida was a tremendous victory. 76,000 votes with almost nothing left. And all of a sudden everything just stopped. This is a fraud on the American public. This is an embarrassment to our country. We were getting ready to win this election. Frankly, we did win this election. They're cheering, but here's the thing. He didn't win the election, but they believed him. And they believed him to the point where they decided to go to the next phase of the attack, all right? And what, what exactly was the next phase? Many of you have been asking. I'll tell you what the next phase was, all right? I'll tell you exactly what it was. Attention! This is Donald Trump to all of his soldiers. Ladies and gentlemen, I've lost the election to Joe Biden. He beat the brakes off of me, and I'm very angry. I'm very angry, and I need to get some retribution. All right? So I am going to be hosting an event called Stop the Steal on January 6th. I need you to sell all that you have. Send me the money. All right. Get their boots. Get tactical gear. Get the weapons. <clears throat> bring the gallows. Bring it all to D.C. All right. <clears throat> Where we will make sure that President Biden does not become president. <clears throat> and that's what he did. So what happened? Well, all of his soldiers, you know, the Proud Boys, the Boogaloo Boys, the Patriot Front, right? They all put their khaki pants on. They put on those masks, all right? You know, it's interesting they put on those masks, all right? Because during the pandemic, they were lying, telling people they couldn't put on a mask because they, if they put on a mask, they can't breathe. But for some reason, when it came to 
being a soldier for Donald Trump, they put on those masks and they all went to Washington, D.C., right? And we all know what happened when they got to Washington, D.C. They were, they were riled up, all right? They were told things to make them think the next phase was all good. Everything. If we flood the Capitol building, flood all the government buildings, go inside. These are public buildings. We own them. We own these buildings. Do you understand that? We own the buildings and we pay all the people that work in the building. Yeah, that's Lieutenant Marge. Lieutenant Marge, Marjorie Trader Green, probably right after planting those pipe bombs instructing the soldiers to go inside the Capitol because guess what? It's yours. No, it's not. It's not yours. All right? And so they went to D.C., revved up, revved up on that MAGA juice, that MAGA Kool-Aid, ready to do a fool. All right? And Donald Trump said, now that I got you right here, I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and put a battery in your back. All right? And this is what he did. Now it is up to Congress to confront this egregious assault on our democracy. And after this, we're going to walk down, and I'll be there with you. No, we're going to walk there. down. We're going to walk down. Anyone you want, but I think right here, we're going to walk down to the Capitol. And we're going to cheer on our brave senators and congressmen and women. And we're probably not going to be cheering so much for some of them because you'll never take back our country with weakness you have to show strength and you have to be strong oh yes and with that ladies and gentlemen they begin to converge on the united states capitol all right donald trump he never went with them even though he said that he would he never showed up he sent those soldiers to do his dirty work. He went back to the White House, turned on the TV, got a Diet Coke, and for three hours, he watched his soldiers attack our country. Ladies and gentlemen, there was a scene that took place right when they got to the Capitol. They saw someone, one of their own. His name was Ray Epps, and they began to chant, Feds, Feds, Feds. Which blew my mind because I said, well, listen, if you believed Ray Epps was the feds, that means you knew the cops were there. You knew the FBI were there. Why did you continue to break the law? Common sense would have said everything that I'm doing at this silly event called Stop the Steal with the so-called cops being there, the so-called FBI being there, everything I'm doing most likely is being recorded to a certain degree and I'm going to have to answer for it. So why'd you do it? And why didn't Donald Trump show up? You have no answers. All right. So ladies and gentlemen, now that we are at the crime scene of January 6th. All right. Let's talk about what with let's talk about what happened to one of the soldiers that day on January 6th. If you don't mind. All right. This story is called Virginia School Board Member Arrested on January 6th Charges. <clears throat> More than three years after the January 6th Capitol riot, a Virginia school board member is facing several charges after federal prosecutors said that he was caught on video entering the building and taking part in the disorder. Mild Atkins 40 was arrested ladies and gentlemen, and faces four charges, including entering and remaining in a restricted building, disorderly and disruptive conduct in a restricted building, disorderly conduct in a Capitol building, and parading and demonstrating and or picketing inside of a Capitol building. Atkins is a member of Frederick County School Board, representing the Shawnee District. According to School Division website, Atkins told Reporters that he was not surprised at all by the charges against him and believes that the January 6th charges are politically motivated. <clears throat> he says, it's an election year. We see how the DOJ has weaponized against people that lean more right than center. Charging documents say Atkins was one of the first to enter the Capitol and helped an individual enter the United States Capitol through a broken window next to the Senate wing door. Open source videos cited in court documents show Atkins walking around the Capitol, drinking alcohol, and at some points, chanting. The charging documents also say that he bragged on Facebook about being at the Capitol that day, telling friends that he drank fireball and Coors Light in the building. 
It's like this is what they do. These are some animals, ladies and gentlemen. These are sick and twisted animals. He says, quote, I'm not going to be bullied out of this position. I was duly elected here. We've gotten a lot done, he said. We brought transparency back to the parents. Before, you couldn't watch the videos of the meetings without getting an, a FOIA request. Now you can watch the videos live stream. He's talking about his work as a, on the school board. But guess what, ladies and gentlemen? It's not going to work. You know why? Because you know what's worse than being uh, a traitor? <laughs> a racist traitor. And that's exactly what this knucklehead is. Ladies and gentlemen, join me in giving seditionists traitorous Atkins what he deserves because he listened to Donald Trump that day on January 6th and, and decided to commit a crime by attacking the United States Capitol and now he must pay the price ladies and gentlemen join me in giving seditionist treasonous Atkins what he deserves a round of booze and shame let's go ladies and gentlemen let's give it to him <laughs> goodbye Climbing through that window. Should have stayed at home. Silence! You never gave it! Should have stayed at home. Shouldn't have been climbing climbing through the windows. It's not, what's the, is this like a MAGA cocktail, fireball, and coarse light? Is that a MAGA cocktail? Who does that? Seriously. Y'all need to grow up. Get some class. Get some decorum. Stay away from fireball and coarse light. Jesus Christ. And ladies and gentlemen. Since he's been arrested and convicted, let's send him off. The, oh, oh, let's send him off the old-fashioned way, ladies and gentlemen. Let's send him off the old-fashioned way. All right, here we go. Hold on. Let's see. We're, let's go ahead and do it. Let's send him off the old-fashioned way. <laughs> I'd like to begin by addressing the heinous attack on the United States Capitol. Like all Americans, I am outraged by the violence, lawlessness, and mayhem. I immediately deployed the National Guard and federal law enforcement to secure the building and expel the intruders. America is and must always be a nation of law and order. The demonstrators who infiltrated the Capitol have defiled the seat of American democracy. To those who engage in the acts of violence and destruction, you do not represent our country. And to those who broke the law, you will pay. You hear that, MAGA? <laughs> you hear what he said? Oh, well, time to go, little brother. Mom has your... Oh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, Jimmy is going to a doctor's appointment. I guess I've hurt his feelings. <laughs> Goodbye, Jimmy. Uh, you hear that? Donald Trump said, you will pay. He played you like a fiddle, MAGA. Think about this. These folks right here, these are these folks, they listen to a man that wakes up every day, paints himself orange, puts a bird's nest on his head, all right, puts on a diaper and soils himself real gross-like, all right, and puts on that same crumpled blue suit with the red tie and gives them their daily orders, their daily marching orders. And now look at this. He says he ordered the National Guard. This is right after he told you, we're going to march to the Capitol and I'll be right there with you. Did he show up with you, MAGA? No, he did not. He went home and watched you throw your life, your liberty, your freedom, your pursuit of happiness all away from him, for him. And this is why we do what we do, ladies and gentlemen. And he's still milking you dry. He's still milking these supporters, these soldiers, these traitors. He's still doing it. All right, you know what he's doing, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Here we go. This is what he does. This is what he does. All right, here we go. Oh, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the horribly and unfairly treated January 6th hostages. <laughs> here we go. This is you. He got y'all singing this while in jail. <laughs> Think about that. Did he put any money on your books? No. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States.
United States of America. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. Well, thank you very much. And you see the spirit from the hostages, and that's what they are as hostages. Oh. They've been treated terribly and very unfairly, and you know that, and everybody knows that. <laughs> and we're going to be working on that soon. The first day we get into office, we're going to save our country, and we're going to work with the people to treat those unbelievable patriots, and they were unbelievable patriots and are. You see the spirit just cheering, they're, making, they're cheering while they're doing that, and they did that in prison. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can hear the love in his voice that he has for those hostages, right? And if he really cared, why does he got to wait until he becomes president to do something? Think about this, MAGA. You mean to tell me four years have passed and he hasn't done a thing? There's nothing this guy can do, nothing your cult leader can do, Teflon Don. He hasn't done a thing for you in four years. And now you believe that once he becomes president, he'll do something. <laughs> ah, Y'all need to cut it out, seriously. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I got to open up these boxes, all right, and hear from those of you who are brave enough to get in the box and tell the truth with shame, devil, all right? You know what we do, ladies and gentlemen. Three minutes to get up here and, and you know, hopefully, uh, you know, bring some bring some perspective, share it out with the rest of us. All right. But listen, if you got that MAGA demon on you, I'm going to be honest with you. You might just want to you just might want to sit your special behind down and listen to this special broadcast because the facts are clearly on our side. I've been doing this for quite a while. Many of you, you know this. I've been doing this for quite a while. Um, I haven't had to issue an apology yet because Every day I've been getting out here, I've been proving that all of the Trump supporters on this app, especially on this app, are nothing but liars. They have never brought any evidence to support any of their claims. And they get out here and they like to pretend like they're victims. You're not victims. You're actually the harassers. You're actually the abusers. All right. And the American people are fed up with MAGA. I guarantee you come come November You'll see what we're talking about. You'll understand it a little bit better. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's bring up our first panelist. Yes. Good morning. First? Hey, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah yes. Good morning. Oh. Happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Oh, man, these comments are crazy today, Zeus. Really? I got to let um, yo baby B word know down in the comments no one wants to go into his lives at three o'clock in the morning to debate him because we have lives and rest. Bingo, bingo, <laughs> bingo, bingo. Oh my goodness. Also get a water flosser because I know you dip and I oh. know your gums is bleeding. Oh, for sure. He, uh, now, yo baby daddy, don't do that stuff. Get off of that, sir. That's just bad for your health. If mm. you're doing it, if that's what you're doing. And, um, no, he has his little spit can by him nasty. when he goes live. It's nasty. Mm. Yeah, it's nasty. Mm. But I wanted to talk about the Biden administration for a second. Go ahead. Tell the um, truth. So salary increases are outpacing inflation right now, oh. which is a great trend. And if it continues, um, this little headwind will turn into a tailwind and just keep on going. And it'd be great for the American people. Thank you, President Joe Biden, once again, delivering for the American people. Uh, wage inequality is also narrowing, and that is a great trend that's been occurring here lately. Wow. Um, and millions more are signing up for health care. Mm. Wow. So, you mean the, the Affordable Care Act that Barack Hussein Obama and Joe Biden helped pass? Yeah, it's a beautiful thing, isn't it? Yeah. They want to paint it out to be something. I don't know. It's yep. amazing, though. Yeah. Because even if we're we're paying right, because Republicans don't want us to have universal health care, like to no end, um, we're making it ease more easily DJ. accessible. <gasps> DJ, thank you. Good. Thank Look you. at that, a lazy liberal like DJ. <laughs> I'm kidding, bro. <laughs> we're making it more easily accessible my brother, for DJ, the people. Oh my God, ladies and gentlemen, what, what a show! Hot. Right. Wow, thank you. Ladies and, and gentlemen, follow communism. DJ Great Lives. Yes. Alan, everything that you disagree with, 
is not communism. I hate to break it to you. Mm -hmm. um, American families are richer also, according to the Federal Reserve. It shows yeah. that household net worth has rose um, to a record of one point or one hundred and fifty six point two trillion. Sorry, I had a Marjorie Taylor Greene moment there. Keep on bringing the good news, Jess. Yeah, a lot of us are doing a lot better than most people want to let on to, right? Especially look at that little hawk said he's doing good. He's thriving under Biden. We're doing amazing and things are on the upward trend because we know um, inflation wa was terrible. COVID was an unprecedented thing to occur. It's unprecedented times and Biden worked with what he had. Yep. Yep. And we're making it work now. Yeah. Yeah. Biden yeah. shouldn't take full blame for inflation, but we do know that with the strong labor markets, it's completely due to White House administration policies. Bingo, bingo, bingo. Let me ask you a question, Jess. Has President Biden asked you for any money to help pay for his legal, his legal, legal bills or anything like that? Never, not once. So, so, so that means that's money, money you can keep in your pocket to buy things like eggs and gas and things like that. And maybe even go on a nice vacation, huh? Yeah. Yeah. And, and the way I see it, if you guys are traveling, because I'm going to make a video about this later. Yeah. Um, because I might piss someone off with this. Go for someone it. Someone might recognize this person. Mm. They drove over 12 hours to a Donald Trump rally. These people spend their savings what? to follow Trump across the country. Wow. These people spend their vacation hours following Trump across the country. Wow. They take time off their jobs, take time away from their families, and spend weeks away from their kids to wow. follow Donald Trump around <laughs> America. Wow. And they say they don't got any money. I'm pretty sure it was Snuggles. And I know it's the same people in lives complaining about eggs, <laughs> complaining about gas, and here you are making special t-shirts front row, Joe. Wow. 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 So, so you're the wow. front row Joes at Donald Trump rallies. Wow. You make it make sense. Wow. Y'all are so adorable. It's freaking weird. Oh my God. <laughs> Tell them, Jess. Tell them, uh, Jess. Like Tiffany says, y'all bust it wide open for Donald Trump. <laughs> Tiffany keep it clean. <laughs> wow, they busted right. it open I like that. Wow. I love all, you guys. All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up to the beautiful Jess. No lies detected. Y'all busting it open for Donald Trump like that? Wow. Y'all doing more than Melania even is doing. That should tell you you've gone a little too far, right, ladies and gentlemen? Listen, they don't like us when we get out here and tell the truth, ladies and gentlemen, but guess what? Someone has to get out here and tell the truth, all right? And it, and you know it seems like I'm the one, all right? Um, uh, 382. How are you, my friend? I miss you. No, you don't. No, yes, you I don't. Do. No, you don't. No, you How don't. Do not, how do I not miss you, Zeus? Listen, uh, what what brings you to the kingdom? I get it. I get it. You are, you have what they call Zeus derangement syndrome, right? I miss you so much. You were supposed to call me to have coffee. Mm, really? That's what wow. you said? I did? Interesting. Interesting. Well, I don't recall ever saying anything like that. So so what is it, right? I mean, has Snuggles turned his back on you? <laughs> I Snuggles, haven't seen. I haven't has seen Snuggles that. turned his back on you? When was the last I haven't time you... Seen... Hmm? Go ahead. What was that? Has, has Snuggles turned his back on you? You know, because you're a Snuggles uh, University graduate. So Actually, no. I'm when a, did you? You dropped equal, out? I'm an equal opportunist. Mm. I get along with everybody. Mm. Okay, well, let me ask you some questions because, you know, I'm always willing to help people who want to be rehabilitated, all right? And I want to yes, see please. if you now when really... I get rehabilitated, hold on. When I get rehabilitated, will I be able to stay with you? That, that, no, no, no. Uh -uh, no. No, no. Uh -uh. Let's just get uh -uh. straight to it, all right? Do you do you now want to admit that the 2020 election wasn't rigged? You want to admit that right here in front of Snuggles? I really haven't followed it. Oh, oh, see, 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 <laughs> and I, see, and I, see. I, see, I knew it, I knew it, and I, as 
I said I'm an equal opportunist. Man, let's ask the next question. Who would you say is responsible for January 6th, Mr. Equal Opportunist? That I... Uh, mm, mm, mm. Oh, you're a liar, bro. You're a liar, Jim. Wow. Wow. I would, I would, you probably, I'm going to go ahead and say, you probably think Biden is guilty of some sort of crimes, don't you, Jim? No, actually, I'll throw a name in the hat. What's how the about, name? This is sad, bro. You, you, how about, man, how old are you? Seriously, how old are you? Do, do I'm you 20. Double, I'm no, 26. You, man, you're lying. You're a liar. This guy's a liar. Jim, seriously. Wow, listen, you believe in the tooth fairy still? Jim? Yes, actually, I, I do. Knew it. You believe in Santa Claus? Of course, it's Chris and, Kringle. And, and, and you believe Snuggles is really, you know, winning, don't you? I have, like I said, I haven't seen Snuggles in months. Oh, and months. Jim, there you go, Jim. There you go, Jim. Jim, I don't even know why you came in my box, bro. Seriously, what did you expect to get out of this conversation, Jim? Because you're not changing any hearts and minds. You just got up here and basically let everyone know you're still as deranged as you were when we first talked. But I just wanted to have lunch with you. Bro. Oh, it's okay. Oh, Maybe okay. Well, part. okay. Well, well. How about this? All right. I'm gonna give you something to think about. Right. All right, Jim. Ladies and gentlemen. There. Goodbye, Jim. Your time's up. Goodbye, Jim. You see that? You see that, ladies and gentlemen? You never. I, all I want is a Trump supporter to come in the box with some facts, all right? Bring the screenshot, Jim, all right, next time, all right? And, and you do know who Snuggles is. I saw you in his live the other day, another lie. This is what MAGA does, though. You see, for those of you out here who are watching this show, this is all they do. They don't have anything to run on. They don't have anything to refute in terms of what I've said. I spoke for a whole hour. He didn't have anything to deny that I said was, a tr was true. He couldn't deny it. So what does he do? Zeus, can I go on a date with you? Absolutely not. All right, absolutely not. Let's move it along, ladies and gentlemen. You see who we got. Brother Lex, I'm trying to get the folks who I know were waiting yesterday first, and then I'll move on. Let's go, uh, Brother Lex. Good morning. How you doing? I'm having some monitor issues. Right? Who is? Somebody's having some money issues. Right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The money's drying up. He's talking about some, please don't go away from me. We can work this out. <laughs> right, right. That's what they're saying. Yeah, I mean, you know something. Uh, he, what, 30 insurance companies wouldn't grant him a bond? bond? Nope, nope. And uh, now he's sending out 10, 12 emails a day to in, uh, the, these supporters asking for, for 4 or $5. Mm. And uh, I think that the, he, she's allowed to uh, liquidate his assets starting Monday. Yep, yep. So please, please don't go. No, 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 no. Please don't go. Hey, tell but, them. Yeah, um, my thing, my thing is, is these supporters are still trying to support him, and the, you cannot give him enough money. There's not enough money out there for you supporters to give him. Nope. They broke the RNC. The RNC has gone broke. So the down ticket ballots don't have any money to run their campaign. No, all because of one guy. Don't you find that amazing? Yeah, I, I I really do. They 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 are putting all their eggs in one basket with this knucklehead. And even right now, he's polling. He's still competing against Nikki Haley and all the other the all the others in the Republican Party who've dropped out. He's not doing good against them. Yeah, what was his numbers in Ohio again? Like seventy percent. That's not good. That's not good. How are people so that are not even in the election? still getting a significant chunk of the votes in your own party. How do you throw your entire party away for one man? <laughs> How do you do that? How do you do that? Mm. I mean, you, at the end of the day, you have other alternatives who have better sense that are more centrist that will work. We need to have this to work together in order to make progress in this country. We have to meet in the middle in Congress and in the Senate so we can Bingo. pass a bill. They yeah. passed one bill to ban TikTok. Mm, ain't that something? That's it. Throws no up. other bills. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, and then they say, well, nothing good happened for me during uh, 
the uh, Biden's uh, presidency. Well, I mean, you can't. Pa Congress has to pass the bill for it to reach Biden's desk for him to sign for it to yeah. go into law. Yeah, yeah. So, if Congress is r Republican led right now, mm. and they haven't passed but one bill to ban TikTok for whatever right. reason that is, right? Then, Tell them, Lex. They haven't done anything for you. Yeah. Tell them, Lex. They're, they're the most unproductive Congress ever, as far as I'm concerned, right? They don't pass anything that's actually helping the American people, except for, and I don't know how TikTok is supposedly banning TikTok helps us. It doesn't. All right. And they sit around and they cry all day long. This they're is asking, sad. They're asking for the broke song in the comments. There's a, there's a broke song? Oh, the brokeity broke one. That's what yeah, they want you to do. Why don't you go ahead and play us on out with that? If you don't, I don't mind, have, I don't have time to pull it together. So, oh, he doesn't I mean, have time. I, I, it'll take about five, ten seconds if you got time. Uh, but I'm, oh, I'm gonna have to oh my god! Now nah, I won't push you through. I won't put you through it. Oh, I, mean, I mean, I can come back. Yeah, maybe you could come back. All right. Hopefully, I'll go through and we'll get to all the other panelists and then before... broke. Yeah. Broke, broke. yeah. Tell them. I'll, I'll come back. I'll come back and get it. All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up to Brother Lax once again, coming through with the truth. No lies detected. All right, you not see, ladies. Not one. Huh? Not I one. Yeah. Not one. Not one. Okay, bye now. All right, all right, all right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, let's move it along and bring up our next panelists all righty then who do we have next oh my goodness Susie q good morning Susie. how are you doing hello hey how are you doing i well i got nannered so this is my backup but oh okay well, i just glad wanted you're back. to add that peter navarro went to jail today oh yeah he, he went to jail yesterday right i thought it was yesterday oh it might have been yesterday yeah, yeah yeah he went to jail yesterday <laughs> yes i'm yes. loving it Yes, we yes. Gotta clear all these MAGA out of our government. Period. Yep. 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 There's Do you know he's getting conservatives left. He, he he's getting that ultimate MAGA reward, right? And we've been talking about it for quite a while. It's like the Trump supporters don't understand that you put all your faith in one man like Donald Trump, you're going to prison. Yep. Right? And it's sick because look, Ken Buck's even leaving. The most one of the most conservative people because he yeah. can't stand that MAGA has taken over their party. Yeah, yeah. Period. Yeah. You see what but I mean? It's just and these people in the comments are just. <laughs> what, are they, what, what are they saying? Because, you know, it's weird that the folks in the comments are, you know, from what I'm hearing, they're they're crying, but they don't have any facts to back up what they say. So I'm confused. Why are they crying? They never do. Nope. They never do. And then when you try to bring them up, they can't back up anything. Nothing. I've, I've sent five guest requests so far, and not one of them has accepted it. So that's how I know there are a bunch of liars out here. Absolutely. Of course. They yeah. can't say anything with their full chest. Mm. Period. Yeah. 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 Other than, we lo other than the, the fact that they love Donald Trump, right? They don't yep. mind saying how much they love Donald Trump. They don't yep. mind repeating his lies. Yep. All right. But when you start telling them, well, okay, you believe you're better off four years. You are better off four years from today. You really believe that? Yes, I do, Zeus. And it's hilarious because yeah. they don't remember they were during they they were in a pandemic four years ago. <laughs> right. Locked up in their freaking houses. Right. Like, what right. the freak are you talking about? Yeah. Oh my God. It's, I don't want to. I don't want to hear another Trump supporter say that lie. You weren't better off four years ago. You weren't. Yep. You were not. And thank you. Joe Biden wasn't my first pick, but I tell you what, I have to give him his flowers because mm, he passed the most legislation since LBJ. And yep. paid on the debt and deficit at the same time. Mm. Yeah. So, yeah. No lies I just detected. wanted to come up, say hi, I love you, and all right. have fun with these MAGA supporters. All right, all right. Well, listen, uh, Suzy Q, I'm so glad you're back, and don't get in trouble, all right? Stay safe I'll, out there. I'm, I'm, barred, I'm barred on my other account till the 21st, but I'll uh -oh. be there. 
Okay, all right, all right. Well, listen, ladies and gentlemen, let's give Suzy Q a round of applause. No lies detected. All right, y'all. All right, all right, all right, ladies and Bye, gentlemen. Juice. Later, all right, later. Oh my goodness, oh my gosh, ladies and gentlemen. You see, we're cooking with we're cooking we're cooking with hot grease around here, ladies and gentlemen. We really are. All right, let's move it along, ladies and gentlemen. All right, my good friend DJ. Welcome, DJ. How are you doing, my good friend? Uh, and... Well, good morning, uh, Mr. Zeus. Yes, yes, good morning. Um, I'd, I'd like to address something. Really quick. Okay, sure. All right, yes, I am a lazy liberal, <laughs> number one. I am a very um, happy lazy liberal. Okay. I'm, I'm vacationing in my home. Oh. Uh, I am enjoying the show. Okay, thank you. And um, I am a Trump supporter. I will tell you what I support. Okay. A lot of you don't see a lot of people that follow me don't know this. Okay. <laughs> Since I'm, <laughs> I support Trump going to jail. Number oh, one. Oh, oh, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> number two, I support this man losing every single cent he has. Yes. Number three. Yes. I support watching a grown ass man cry. In oh. Public. Yeah. That and number four, I cannot wait to leaky cheeks <laughs> <laughs> has to have his diaper changed in public. Go, I support so, that. To to everybody that is in the room, I don't think they realize once once they start seizing his assets, do you know each and what every one of us are gonna be richer than Donald Trump? <laughs> See, I pay attention to you. I pay attention to you. I like what you did when you did what you did right there. All right, yeah. I know, right? You yeah. know, I'm cooking. I'm cooking. Shh, yeah. don't, 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 I can't give away the ingredients. Don't do it. Don't do it. Keep on oh. cooking those MAGA minds out there. Hey, wow. you know, I'm out there doing it. And, you know, uh, I'm not going to take your time because I heard that you you uh, gave me a great compliment of being a, a lazy level. Oh, oh. I am extra, extra lazy. <laughs> I am extra, extra dark. And I... Extra, extra handsome. Hey, hey, there you go. There you go. Listen, whatever right, you're doing, bro. keep doing it, brother. All right. Millions of people love it. All right. All right. And I appreciate you. All right. And everything that you do. And oh, by yeah. the way, you're going live tonight, right? Oh, yeah. And I was able to uh, to get the final version right as I finished copying my, my PC crash. So you'll hear the final version of Wakanda. Okay. Oh, oh. Be prepared. <laughs> oh, ladies and gentlemen, please follow Dark yeah. DJ, all right? This is where we hang out after hours, all right? We hang out in his lives and talk music and occasionally some other stuff, all right? <laughs> yes, we keep it clean. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. And, and, and for, 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 for all the ladies out there, does the sound of my voice just make you want to get up in the morning and be more motivated? <laughs> right, right. We're not in the red room. We're not in the red room. <laughs> I get where you were going, all right? And you yes, did a oh, great yes, job yes, keeping yes, it sir. clean. You did. Yeah, I kept it so clean. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Another round of applause for my man, brother DJ. No lies to the second. All right. All right. Thank you, my good friend. Thank you, my brother. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen. That's DJ Craze. All right. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's bring up our next panelist. Who do we got right here? Uh, who is this? Clinton... Clinton, greetings. How are you? Hey, how you doing, Zeus? All right. This is our first time doing business? First time. All right. I got to ask you some questions, and how you answer them determines your fate, all right? Okay. All right. First question. Do you think the 2020 election was rigged? No. All right. <laughs> Who would you say is responsible for the attack on the Capitol on January 6th? Trump and his minions. Thank you. <laughs> Last and final question. Do you think President Biden is guilty of any crimes? They have tried to pin him to something, and there's nothing there. There you go. All right, well, you passed. What do you got for us this bright and early, my friend? Uh, I just want to come on and just want to talk to the uh, Trump supporters. And I know he's having his cash crunch, and mm. he's been uh, trying to get some help. He said he's a billionaire, and that was discovered as a lie. Right. Yeah. 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 So I'm thinking if you guys are his supporters, mm. why are y'all not doing more? Why are y'all not selling all your possessions? Why not sell your home, <laughs> your mobile home, 
and give Donald Trump the money. Yeah. You support him, right? Right. He's in a financial crunch. So why are you not doing that? Mm. And that's just my, you know, and I know they were talking about the gas prices back in the time uh, during the pandemic. And then it, it just it's, it just got me thinking. I'm like, you know, we were in a pandemic. We couldn't go nowhere. So the gas price is going to be low. <laughs> you know, their thing is right there. now, their thing is they were better off four years ago than they are today. Do you believe that? Impossible. <laughs> we were, in, we were I, I just don't get how they don't understand how it was four years ago that they, their attention span, we couldn't go nowhere. We was afraid of catching a disease and, and being unalive. Yeah. Another lie from the MAGA demon, the MAGA pit yeah. of hell. And remember going to the grocery store, going just to try to get anything and everything was gone. The toilet tissue, the exactly. toilet tissue, toilet gate is what they called it. <laughs> you know, yeah. so how, how worried in a better shape now than we were four years ago? Come on. Yeah. Now. Yeah. MAGA, if you got the salute, if you got the answer to that question, if you really believe we were better off four years ago than we are today, Please send Zeus a guest request and bring the screenshot to back it up. Yeah. You liars. <laughs> These <laughs> folks exactly. are a bunch of liars. I, I mean, one thing is the lie to sit, get yourself out of a jam, but just to be a liar for the sake of just being a liar, that's, that's a little disgusting. That's deranged. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I just wanted to come in, say hi. I've been listening to you, and I just wanted to jump in the box real quick. All and, right. Well, uh, it was it was great talking to you. And, all right. And, you too. All right. And I gave you a follow. All right, brother. I did. Ah, right, great. Thanks. Thank you. All right. And I thank you for having the courage and conviction to be able to get in the box and tell the truth. All right. You didn't have to, but you did. I appreciate it. All right. All right. Thanks. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's give Brother Clinton a round of applause. <laughs> no. No lies detected. Yeah, this this nonsense, are you better off four years ago than you are uh, today? It, ne it, it really does need to end. It really does. I just, I, I can't go there with MAGA. I, I really can't. All right, let's move it along, ladies and gentlemen. Dark Renee, greetings. How are you doing? Good morning, Zeus. Good morning. How are you? Long time no see. Yeah, I'm usually just in the background listening to you and your panel, and you're great. But we also have to remember, I just come in to say hi okay. and happy birthday. But I just want to remind everybody, like, if people are talking about civil war or any nonsense from the mega party, we have to understand these are the same ones that were out in Washington, D.C., Googling where the Electoral College is at. <laughs> <laughs> so, not gonna happen wow we're not afraid of you right <laughs> so everybody needs to remember that yes you're right you're right they're really not that intelligent to be quite honest and that's why donald trump loves them right that's why he he goes after he's like a predator he's looking for the weak and the vulnerable Oh, it is so sad. It is so sad. And when he talks at his rallies the last couple of weeks, when we go back and we watch the clips, the nonsense that comes out of this guy's mouth, and you guys are just like eating it up like a spoon. Yeah. With spoon, I don't understand it, but we'll let you think whatever. But we're not also, I remember when you were out in Washington Googling the Electoral College, who were not <laughs> scared of you. So remember, remember the, the whole uh, truckers convoy thing, that thing fizzled out, didn't it? Like a, 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 so, a soda left on the counter on a hot summer day. It just fizzled right on out. These folks Everything are terrible. Everything that they set up, nothing that you guys put together actually happens. I mean, you, it falls apart because you have the, I don't know who in control of all this. Mm-hmm. Tell and them, Dark DJ. So Wow. Yeah. 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 The trucker convoy never went to Texas. Right. It got there was only a couple trucks. I remember when you were going to shut down the country with your trucks. It never happened. It never did. And it never will. 
Right. Yeah, when I look at um, the RNC, totally broke over one man. Mm. How are you going to rebuild this? How, yeah. you know, and that's my thing to my North, I'm in North Dakota, it's a red state. Oh, wow. And they, they have to, you know, make their commercials. You can tell that there's yeah. no money with their commercials. It's no. like, really? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they don't have any money because guess who's taking it? Their cult leader, Donald Trump. He's been taking it all their lives, right? Ever since The Apprentice, he's figured out a way to get into their pockets. And now yes. they're sitting back crying they don't have any money. Well, you don't have any because every month Trump is in your wallet. Yes, and if you guys want to do good to society. Oh, Valley Girl, please, would you like to come up here, up. Valley Girl? Sorry, Dark, I'm sorry. But oh, Valley Girl. He's just coming up. Yeah. You know, go help families. If they can't afford an Easter basket for their kid, go help them. Yeah. That's what I've been doing in my little town. Thank you. I've made Tell my them. husband work 12 months to each holiday. So. Yes. Mm. Well, you guys keep up the great work. You and your husband, all right? Okay. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me and everybody. Yes, and... All right. Be safe all... on these TikTok streets. We will and we shall. And you all keep up the great work you're doing, you and your husband. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up to Dark Renee. No lies detected. Where where is Valley Girl at? Uh, where is Valley Girl at? Listen, you're gonna you're gonna come into the kingdom. Be prepared to have a conversation with Zeus. All right. If you can't come in the kingdom, oh, you don't have enough. You can't. You can't send a request. What happened? You got. You got reported, Valley Girl. Is that what happened? You can't. You can't be sent a request. What a shame. What a shame. All right. Who do we have here? Dan. Greetings, Dan. How are you doing? Good morning, Dan. How are you? Dan, are you there, Dan? Dan, ah, Dan, 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 I can't hear you. You got a lot of noise back there, Dan. All right, uh, Valley Girl, if you, you said it's an echo chamber, S send a guest request to Zeus. Send a guest request. I, for some reason, I can't send it to you. If there's something you got an issue with Zeus or any of the panelists, please send a guest request. All right, Fuzzard. Good morning, Fuzzard. <laughs> Yeah, Dan Ren. Good morning, bro. How are you doing? Good. How are you doing today? Another day in the kingdom. Oh, because you're banned. You know why you're banned? Because you've been lying on TikTok. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hanging out with snuggles. Hanging yep. out with snuggles get you banned every time. Yep. So, Tell us. So I'm going to do a little uh, shout out to Poker Dad if he's in the chat and myself. It's our birthdays today. Oh, so Poker Dad. Dad. Out there. Wait a second. You're right, Poker Dad. Well, you know we got to sing happy birthday, right? I would appreciate that. Okay. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we got two birthdays. All right. Let's get Poker Dad in the here. Poker Dad, are you here? All so right. Anyway, well, listen, I'm going to message him and see if I can get him here. I know he's get a him busy up here. guy. Let's have yeah. Poker Dad. I mean, well, he, well, he's well, on the wrong side of history, but he's, yeah. he's not a bad guy. Right, right. So, okay. and I, I want to give a little shout to Gary. Gary, get out of this chat. We heard your wife. Mom, mom, I'm talking to my friend Zeus. Get out. <laughs> yes, we heard that. Go ah, see your wife. Thank you. Spend time with your wife. But yeah. I want to talk a little bit about the hypocrisies that is going on right now in the GOP. Yeah. You got Donald Trump, first and foremost, saying, I got Roe v. Wade turned over. I got it overturned and sent back to the States. Well, maybe... I will do a 15 week ban now wow. and make it federal. Well, that's not what you said. Oh, and wait, what'd you say now? Mm. You, you like, you like TikTok now, mm. Trump? You like yeah. TikTok now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why do you think that is? We're flopping all over the place. And then you hear all this, uh, well, Donald Trump had a uh, infrastructure bill. No, he did not. But mm. he's trying to take credit for the infrastructure bill now, isn't he? Uh, the $35 insulin cap. Morning you star. Didn't do it to him. Yeah. He's yeah. trying to do all this. And then you got Katie Britt. We mm. all know Katie Britt and her wonderful speech and all that. <laughs> she helped co-write the uh, immigration law. Oh. And did she vote against it? Oh. She voted against it. Wow. Oh. What a shame. Oh. Hypocrites. Oh. How horrible is that? You voted against your own bill. That's embarrassing. And the 
Last and one thing, there's a short list. There's a short list for who's going to be the VP running mate of oh. Donald Trump. Oh. Uh, we know Tim Scott's probably on there. Oh, you know. Probably, probably a little, little bit of a token there, but wow, it's, it's, he, he uh, definitely yeah. is. He's going to be yeah, yeah. pretty soon crying and saying then, the Republican Party doesn't represent him. He's pretty no. soon going to be doing that. Um, and then uh, a, another um, person that might be trying to get Alpha. on that list, Judge Cannon. Oh, do you think Judge Cannon might be saying, "Hey, if I uh, sway what's going on oh. down here in Mar a Lago"? Maybe oh, I'm she's trying to be his vice president. I don't know. I don't know. I know a lot of people are trying to get on that. Thank you for the birthday wishes, guys. And wow. I, that's the biggest thing I've got. Oh, yeah. You guys, if you're not wa- following us uh, during DJ's lives, we have a lot of fun in those lives. And they're a good time. They're late night. They go a little late sometimes, but they yeah. are a lot of fun. So if you yep. are following DJ Craze, follow that man. He's a good Bingo. time. Bingo. And, uh, you're right. The other, the other night I was actually on a plane flying back and you were talking about, hey, hey, Captain, Captain of the plane, swing by Illinois. I need to pick up a state. <laughs> <laughs> I was. Yeah, I would do that. I would totally do that because Snuggles owes me 5,000 stakes at this point. He really does. <laughs> 5,000 stakes. Snuggles, 5, give me my stakes, stakes, bro. That's a lot of stakes. Yeah. You, you have- you have, you have to call up Jazzy. Hey, Jazzy, I need one of those cows. Absolutely. <laughs> all your steaks. Exactly, exactly. But anyways, thank you, sir. Enjoy You're welcome, your and, and and we'll sing happy birthday in about 15 minutes, all right, champ? Sounds great, Zeus. Thank uh, you. I'll talk to you right. later. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up to Brother Fuzzard. Happy birthday to you, and happy birthday to Poker Dad, wherever you're at. Poker Dad said he won't be able to make it, all right? He is busy doing the Lord's work. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's move it along. All right, good morning, Tiffany. Good morning. Oh, oh. let's go. How you doing, Tiffany? How are you doing? Hi, hi, hey, I'm, um, I'm on my little bit of a nerd vibe right now. All right, I love it. Listen, you always can okay. do what you do. You do what you want when you're popping, all right? Yeah, see, this is even no makeup. Still, still cute, right? Mm, yeah, absolutely. And, um, Dark, I saw you dropping all the dinosaurs. You better oh. send me a nice gift. And oh, send you- oh. And everybody oh. on this panel. Oh, 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 oh. you're coming in. <laughs> Giving orders. Oh my God. Okay. Do you see it? We haven't heard the song since Friday. Can you cue up, cue up my outro before we? Okay, I'll it? cue it up. Yes. All right. I would appreciate it because the magazines <laughs> are extra salty. All right. All right. All right. Oh my okay. goodness. Firstly, I wanted to touch on what you were speaking on earlier is the incel culture of these magazines. Talk to them. Okay. Listen, you stay busting it wide open for Trump. Imagine busting it so wide for one orange Cheeto. Mango Mussolini. Wow. Okay. Wow. Well, he speaks volumes because we know that women are not out here dating you. Nope. Okay, we don't find you sexy. Okay, mm. yeah, exactly. Busting it wide. I'm not going to do the split. <laughs> wow. But, and then we got Jim up here trying to get a lunch date with you. Yeah. What is that about? Uh, they're like really obsessed. Yeah. Yeah. Snuggle. Every day I get one of these MAGA men out here trying to get me to take go on a date with them. Absolutely not. You're going to have to lay there like Jay Bear and burn. Keep on lusting. Go for it. That's your you know, thing. Exactly. Like MAGA, no one, MAGA men, MAGA women, no one wants your dusty selves. I was going to say no. the A word. Yeah. Because you smell like cigarettes, c- cigarettes, engine fuel, dip, and gasoline. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, you know, they just really need to do better. And like uh, Jess said, who is she referring to? That the guy that does his late lives. Like we're resting at those hours, okay? Yeah. We're yeah. resting our brains because we're smart, okay? Yeah. And we might be laid up with ourselves or somebody else because we actually yeah. know we actually can get someone else. Oh, <laughs> you saying you ain't lacking? <laughs> but they are. Exactly. They, it's it's a drought where they're at. It really is a drought where all of these MAGA men are. They are in a nasty drought. <laughs> Somebody said fungus. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, and like Snuggle, Jim, uh, Uncle Tom, I know you want to subscribe to the OnlyFans. Okay, you just have to wait because I'm getting oh. the content together that's going to be extra sexy and bothersome for you. Get them. Let them know. There's hope. Get, there's so hope. On that note, on that note 
I just need the outro. If you've queued it up, I'll go. If you have it up, Zoo. Let me see. Let me see if I can do over here. All right. Let's see what we can do. All right. All right. Zeus, why do you want to give me the couch? There you go. Obviously, that song does something special to my friend Tiffany, I guess. All right, listen, if you like it, I love it. All right, let's move it along, ladies and gentlemen. Let's move it along. All right, now let's get to the, let's oh. start going through some of our heavy hitters. Good morning, Ange. Oh, How are not you a doing? heavy hitter, but thank you so much for that. Can, can you hear me okay? I can. Yes, is you are. My voice is coming back. Okay, hold on. Well, Tiffany I, is too. Let's yeah, go. Oh, yes, she is. The beautiful <laughs> Tiffany. Hold on. Hold on, give me a second. I got a picture for us. Gosh dang it, why does it always do this? I got a picture. Give me a second. Mm -hmm. Okay. There's oh, that. Wow. I don't want to hear about Trump deranged syndrome, <laughs> you freaking weirdos. Yep. This, you freaks of nature, this is not normal behavior. Wow. It, it's just, it's not. And by the way, Tiffany is one hell of a, a blueberry crusher. I just want to say, I mean, she might, she might top me. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to make her a t-shirt. Right. My fellow. Oh, and happy birthday, Fuzzard. And I'm glad to see you're awake. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> not falling asleep on us. Um, Bingo. Eileen Cannon needs to go. She does. She, I am so sick of her crap. I am so sick of it. This is so obvious. How can we even be considering throwing yeah. out that case? That case in particular, you know how upset I get about J6. That's, yeah. that's a lot on my platform too. It really yeah. ticks me off. But I have no idea how that can even be a frigging consider the danger that they're putting people all around the world, yep. human, human intel all over <laughs> the world. It is stupid person. She just needs to go. I'm sorry I had to get that. No, 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 chest. she does because she's definitely not about bringing justice to the American people. And you know, they say justice delayed is justice denied. Why should we be denied justice before folks go out there and vote? Hey, um, Zeus, can I stop for it? Yo, baby daddy, you know, I was going to leave your, app, your butt alone, but here you are in the comments going for me again. The 79 year old toddler doing her thing. You know what, yo, baby daddy? Uh oh, uh oh. The, the Crush whole him. age thing, it doesn't, you know, you don't bother me. And the thing is, is one thing about it is you're like 30 and you look 79. Oh! So, how about that? You embarrassing mother, you know what? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, oh, DJ! Oh, DJ! Oh, DJ. Go wow. ahead, DJ. Wow. Oh. Yo, baby daddy, you just got rinsed once again, and you oh sent him down the drain. <laughs> Do it to him, man. Bye bye, yo, baby daddy. Yeah. Bye bye. <laughs> Flush him down the toilet Flush where him. he belongs. You know, he can, and you know, he came in. He was in here earlier, and I, I left him alone, and he was trying, but he had to come back. I'm not putting any more time into you. Just go get some Botox or something <laughs> and quit, quit chewing. That nicotine is hurting you yeah. because 30 and looking like you're 79 is a wow. hell of a lot better than acting like you're 79. Wow, you yo, baby yourself. daddy. You bye. just got your blueberries crushed, you oh, flush them again, man. Go away. Nobody likes you. And like they said, you are up doing lives at like 3 in the morning when the rest of us normal crushed. people are sleeping and you're crushed high them. off Adderall or whatever the hell else you're doing up there. Oh. And you're buying your followers. It looks like you have 400 people in there, but you got like 1,000 likes and zero gifts. <laughs> so get you and your blueberries the hell out of this life because nobody cares, okay? All right, I'm Somebody done. call a plumber. I, seriously, you better just, just I wasn't even going to go there, but I'm so sick of your You had to. You had I to. I had to. His blueberries have been officially crushed, and we've sent him down the toilet. <laughs> Goodbye. Somebody uh, call a plumber. And I don't know what you did. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. 
And you know, the thing is with these demons, I want to let you know, yo, baby daddy, James, mm. mama Mia, oh my God, I got a good video coming out about her. She flipped out. Oh. We are not your therapists. We oh. are not your psychiatrists. Mm. We're not your guidance counselors, okay? I used yeah. to be a teacher for 20 years, but I don't have the wherewithal during these lives, yeah. in yours, in the comment section, in everybody else's lives. You all need to seek therapy or pay us. Bingo. Pay us. Bingo! Gift us, you freaking bunch of babies. Right, right. And stop and last, sending it to yep, Trump. We seriously give it to us because we're working for you and we are tired of working for you. Don't come to our lives and want us to coddle you and you're crying. Oh, about, oh, 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 DJ. Well, well, wow. well. That's so cool. It's over, you baby daddy. Well. Another one. Wow. Because DJ's a real man and comes in here and does things like that. And yo, baby daddy, you can't even throw a rose. I've seen you in your life. You can't even throw a rose. You don't have crap but your spitter and your tobacco. And again, go get some Ooh. Botox or something because oh. you look 79. You know oh, what? my God. Baby what? daddy. That, oh, God. I heard my bell. But one last thing real quick. is uh, I see Dubs. Dubs is in the chat too, and I see a bunch of people always saying, oh, I didn't block you, and oh, I, I want to debate you. You're all a bunch of liars, because oh. you come into my live, and you see him, and you run. Mm. The second you realize he's there, you run. Oh. So I don't want to hear about it. Dubs, I'm sorry I had to throw you out there, because now they probably won't come to my live, because they know you're there. But oh. still, quit your lying. <laughs> you don't wow. want any part of Dubs, I am telling you. So mm. don't sit in this chat and lie on one of our bad boys. Don't okay? do it. Don't, don't do, do it. it. Get him in. Right. I heard my bell. Crush. I'm done with these demons for today. Good. And, but <laughs> you covered it this morning as usual. You always bring it. You bring the facts, the entertainment. Yeah. And you let us crush them all because they Bingo. deserve it. But anyway, yeah. thank you. Heard my You're bell. You're welcome. All, all right. right. Thank you. All right. Love you Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up to the beautiful Ange. No lies detected, DJ. I know, I know you didn't mean to, mean to send it to me, but you sent it to Ange. Thank you, my brother. Good, good, good. And Ange, you know what we call what you just did when you crushed those blueberries like that? Fatality. It's over, yo, baby daddy. She exposed your entire platform in under three minutes, champ. Hang it up. Hang it up, bro, and get to sending us these gifts. If you want us to let up on you, MAGA, you better start sending us those gifts, right? <laughs> Well, well, all right, let's move it along, ladies and gentlemen, all right? We got to get ready to get up out of here. What an incredible show today. I didn't know it was going to go this way, but it's here, all right? Uh, Brother Swerve, how are you doing? Good morning, Zeus. I'm doing well. Thank you, oh, sir. All right, all um, right. I think I think your baby daddy need to get off this app and go figure out who <laughs> his baby daddy is. <laughs> it's so easy. So I wanted to... Zeus, I wanted to talk about something that you didn't really touch on this morning, Go and that's the, uh, the brief that mm. Donald Trump's legal team submitted to the Supreme Court for uh, total immunity, right? Mm, right. So I want to read you a couple of excerpts from this brief. Uh, the president cannot function and the presidency itself cannot retain its vital independence mm. if the president faces criminal prosecution for official acts once he leaves office. Oh, Okay, that's number one. Right. So they're they're basically saying he has to have blanket immunity mm. because when he acts in official capacity, if it's breaking the law or breaking the Constitution, right, he can't be worried about it. Oh, right? now, now yeah, yeah, yeah. Counsel, here's the, a denial of criminal immunity would incapacitate every future president with de facto blackmail and extortion <laughs> while in office. What? <clears throat> Condemn what? him to years of post office trauma what? at the hands of political opponents. Mm. So basically what you're saying is <laughs> if they have blanket immunity, they can accept uh, bribes. Yeah. Right? They right. can be extorted. Everybody right. knows what the price tag is to buy a president. Right. Like we already know what that price tag is for Trump and, and old Pooty Poo, I'm sure he's trying to figure out how to pay that price tag right now right right but but maga let me see maga this is why y'all so dumb tell them swear and, I, and i hate using that word dumb but y'all just dumb beyond belief 
You want this man to have blanket immunity. His legal team is arguing that she that he should have the right to commit a crime. Any president should have the right to commit a crime mm. and call it an official act. That ain't an official act. Nope. That ain't an official act. The elector scheme, the fake elector scheme, that's not an official act. Well, People well, can I ask this? That as we let's, speak. Let's, let's go with the, the he should have immunity, right? That means that goes to, to President Biden, right? So, well, yeah, it would go so if Biden, let's just say if Biden wanted to weaponize the DOJ to go after his political opponents, right? He should have the ability to do that. Well, no, According, he shouldn't even, he should, hmm? if, if Biden has blanket immunity, yeah, yeah, yeah. He should have, he should have the ability to grab his political opponents up off the street, throw a black bag over their head and take them to Guantanamo Bay and just leave them there to rot for the rest of their days. Does anyone with, out there believe that's with, acceptable for Biden with, to be able no, to do that? With, with no kind of prosecution, no kind of due process of any kind. That's what that's what blanket immunity oh, so, means. So let's ask the Trump supporters real quick. I want to ask them before you go, Swerve. Does any Trump supporter have a problem with President Biden doing exactly what Swerve and just described? Does any Trump supporter have a problem with that? No, no answers. Oh, no, 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 they won't. Retribution answer. doesn't even have an answer. They won't wow. answer. Now. Wow. Well, and, and that's the problem. They'll they'll never answer questions like that because as long as it's Donald Trump with the immunity, then mm. they're fine with it. That's mm. that's what you call cult like behavior. Mm. Donald Trump is always the only one telling the truth. Right. Donald Trump is the only one who is against the media. Mm. Uh, you know, number fourteen on the fourteen tenets of fascism is denying elections. Mm. And it's Donald Trump to a T. Yeah. He's already saying that the elections are wow. going to be rigged if he loses. Right. So I don't, I don't understand where they're coming from with this. Wow. Stuff. Oh, thank you for the, thank you for the lightning bolts. I appreciate that. Oh, thank you. But the whole, the whole thing with me, Zeus, is Talk to him. if you give blanket immunity, if you think for any reason Donald Trump deserves blanket immunity, right? And Eileen Cannon is trying to help him get it. Right. By all these delays that she's allowing, she's allowing delays for them to have oral arguments on why the trial should be delayed. Right. She's allowing them to have oral arguments on how many more documents they need to review and why they need another 90 days to review the documents that they've already had. I, and, and so now she's on the hook. Right. For helping Donald Trump delay these trials. Mm. And the judiciary is looking at her like, mm. Yeah, we can't let you get away with this, honey. This mm. this this is just going straight out of left field now. Right, right, so, right. And that's that's what I want them to understand. And but they they really won't understand it. They won't care about it. They don't care as long as Donald Trump has immunity to yep. hell with Joe Biden and any, any <laughs> other Democrat. Yep. Okay. Exactly. Let's, let's just let's just be mad at Nikki Haley for not having security there on January sixth. Let's just yeah. Be about that all of all of the lies exactly exactly yeah. so listen brother i heard my bell all As right always, thank you for having me up i appreciate you i appreciate the kingdom all right be good y'all be right. safe and doggone it have fun while you're doing it all right all right Take ladies care, and gentlemen let's give it up to brother swerve all right this is we're running into overtime buzzard i hope you're still there we're running a little late. I'm hoping we can get through these next panelists as quick as possible. And then we are up, up, and away out of here. Um, no reporting, please. And I hope you're okay, but you know how they do us. Right? When we're cooking those MAGA minds, this is how it goes. Don't worry. You're always good in this kingdom, all right? Good morning, Takesha. You got to set it up, please. You got to set it up. Oh. oh, okay. I'm ready for you. You ready? Yes. Oh, what, 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 what? Hey, let's go. Hey. Yes. <laughs> hey, Donald Trump, put your high heels on. Cause in six months to jail, you will be gone. You may be fooling those maggots by spraying them with the stench from your stinky butt. You have no money and they say you're broke And you're still the biggest joke After stop the steal I know that you weren't real I know you're still a fool 
When you go to jail, learn to use the stool. Say, ooh. All right. Hey, my goodness. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Wow. Oh. Well, listen. No. <laughs> no. No. That Zoo. is something else right there. Zoo's that Trump is Trump. something right there. You didn't do it right there. there. Listen, Trump I ain't see got it. no money. Zoo. <laughs> oh. He ain't got his last $2. He ain't got his last $2. Oh, man. I'm so weak. I'm not fooling with y'all today. Hey. I'm not fooling with y'all. Oh, DJ. Yeah, let me tease you. I had to come up and give y'all something to lighten your day. Oh, that was that lit my day up. You know that lit my day. Oh, you know we love us some of that MJ right there when he talking to the people like you just had him do it. Oh my gosh, you hit him higher, you hit him low, Takesha. Look, now <laughs> I gotta sneak my son hat and suit coat back in his closet. Oh no, my goodness. Hey, the way you did that, you know I'm loving it. Thank you for that. All right, that was amazing. That was incredible to be going. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! You know I don't know how to act. Thank I was I was waiting for the, the the woman to come walking out. Maybe have you know the woman Stormy Daniels come out and walk with you while you do that little little sashay that he nobody's did. Nobody's walking with him with this <laughs> but Maga. Nobody but Maga, dude. Jesus Christ. Okay. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Have an awesome day, y'all. All, all right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up to Sister Akisha. <laughs> no lies to sex. Where else can you get entertainment and truth like this on TikTok, ladies and gentlemen? That that was incredible, Takesha. I've never seen anything like that. And the way you hit those notes, you hit them just perfect. Mike would be very proud of you, Takesha. All right. Please continue the great work. And I'm actually shocked because for you to do that without, I don't think Joe Jackson was there, right? You did that on your own? That is impressive, ladies. Let's give the Takesha another round of applause. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh my goodness. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning, Miss Boss D. Uh, uh, <laughs> my stomach is hurting. I mean, that was. <laughs> do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Yeah, like, right. Boys, you got to run that back. You got to run that back. I love that, Keisha. That was amazing. Right. Was absolutely amazing. I was yeah. going to talk about the Supreme Court, but screw them. <laughs> Yeah, I'm mean, that is true. I want my three minutes to go on with sis. <laughs> right, she, she put it in the orbit with that one. Oh, yeah, she came with the fire. The fire, right. Did you hear me, people. Yeah. Oh my god, so yeah. that's how we get down. That is what you call black excellence in your face, baby. Bam, bang, bang. You know this is how we get down. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, we have fun <laughs> while we drag the crap out of y'all, okay? Amen. It is so, so fun. Yeah. And let me tell you something else about <laughs> Y'all over there crying and going on and whatnot because your Christ. leader can't come up with this loot. Mm. But then nobody's name, nobody fought but his own, man. He put himself <laughs> in this position. Right. This did to himself. This is self-inflicted. You know what I mean? If he would have just shut his mouth, like Jimmy Kimmel said, that's, that should be on his uh, tombstone. He should have <laughs> shut his mouth, whatever it was. You know what I'm talking yeah. about? Yeah, we ain't talking yeah. about the pizza either, right? Please. No, no, uh-uh. No, he should have just, you know, zipped it and, yeah. you know, went on about his business. You know, here we are talking about, you know, uh, <laughs> stolen elections and all that four years later. I mean, that's ridiculous, y'all. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Give it up. Yeah. Give it up. It's not going nowhere. You're not going to, you know, he's not getting back in the White House. Yeah. He's not. He's yeah. Not. Especially your baby daddy. I mean, we need to send you to get Mo. That's where yeah. you need to go. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, my God. Yeah, yeah. We need to strip your your uh, citizenship and, you know, oh. Oh. put you under a completely different regime. Yeah, yeah. He should go to North Korea or, or Russia with Vladimir, <laughs> Vladimir Putin. He sounds like he would do good in Russia. I think he would do good in one of those colonies. Yeah, yeah. He would really be a, a good soldier, right? He would be a good little soldier mm. um, trying to... Uh, yeah do everything his leader mm. tell him to do right yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. late night lives talking trash mm -hmm. 
Mm. Don't have no facts. All feelings. <laughs> Zero no facts. Whining. Zero mm. facts from your baby daddy. I've, I've I've listened to the lives. All right, they're they're a bit on the. They're actually they're very deranged. They're deranged. dry. They yeah. draw like you know the the great value crackers from uh, Walmart. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> With the extra salt. <laughs> nasty. nasty. You know what I mean? Just yeah. nasty, man. Yeah. Just not even up to par. Just not up to a to a lower standard. Right. Amazing. You maggots are amazing, but. Uh, yeah, we keep laughing at you clowns because, you know what I mean, you're going to learn one day. Like we, like my grandmama used to say, you're going to learn one day. Yeah. We'll learn today. Yeah. It's going to be the day. That day is today. So. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I got plenty of jokes, yo, baby daddy, and you are one of them. Oh, but, uh, <laughs> get him. Get him. You are one of them, baby daddy. <laughs> yeah. Like somebody said, you go find your baby. Hey, shout out to Ange. Matter of fact, shout out to Ange. She, you know, she took him to school. Yeah. Church and everywhere else. Took him around the block. So. Yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah, I do the math on you, dude. The math is, is that you ain't mathing. Oh, <laughs> you ain't mathing, no, your baby daddy. You don't equate. <laughs> you don't compute, and you are just basically a scrub. So oh. you know, everybody knows that, and that's what it is. So yeah, anyway. no lies detected. All right, well, listen up. <laughs> Much love to you, Zeus. Thank you for having me up, all right. baby. You're and welcome. I'll see you out there, hon. Much all right, love. all right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up to the beautiful Miss Boss. <laughs> No lies detected. All right, we'll bring up one more, and then we got to wrap this up, ladies and gentlemen, because I do got to go, and then we got to sing happy birthday to Fuzzard. I'm so sorry I didn't get to all of you, all right? Dang it, the audio again. Hold oh, on. Oh, Shay, what happened? Oh, my goodness. That... <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, my gosh, ladies and gentlemen. Jesus Christ. Did that work? Can you hear me? <sighs> Dang it. Okay, I'll be back, Zeus. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. audio uh, stuff. All right, well, come on back, Shay, ladies and gentlemen. Let's give it up to Shay while she gets the audio put back together. Jesus Christ. Listen, y'all have been cooking in this live all morning, all right? And I would like to say I'm pleasantly surprised. Oh, my goodness, ladies and gentlemen. All right, after this, Fuzzard, I know we, we, we've we gone quite off. This, this show, I must agree with you. Uh, conservative Lynn, it is a little off the rails, right? All right? It's off the rails. All right, all right, it really is. All right, let's bring it up. All right. Shay, are you there? I don't know. Is it just my live that this happens in? I don't know. No, it's not just your live. It's, I don't know what it is. I think I look for an update on my iPad. Yeah. Well, we can hear you now, so that's good. Yeah. That's good. So, you know, I'm just sitting here with my dark Brandon right here. You know? Oh, I love it. Dark Brandon Cup. Wow. You know, we're drinking yeah. maggot beers, you know. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or it looks good nice. Cup of Joe, however yeah. you want. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love it. I love it. There is something about Joe Biden that makes them cry. I don't know what it is, but mm. man, they cry about old Joe here. Yes. So, um, you know, uh, Lev Parnas is testifying right now. Oh. And you should listen to what he is I saying. I know. It's, uh, has he said anything juicy and exciting yet? Oh, yeah. He basically <clears throat> came on there and said that, that Donald Trump, <clears throat> Rudy Giuliani, and many of the GOP have been lying to you oh. about the involvement of Joe Biden and Hunter Biden in wow. Utah. Wow, it's over, MAGA. And if you don't remember who Love Parnas is, attacking has always brought him up. As, straight oh, facts. Oh, no, straight. I think that would be, oh, that was so cute, that bear. Thank so you, straight facts. Oh, my God. Please go, Shay. Please keep it going. Tell them who, tell them who Lev Parnas so is. Lev Parnas was hired by Rudy Giuliani to go to Ukraine and dig up the dirt on Joe Biden. If you remember right. the first impeachment of Donald J. Trump was because he asked Zelensky to get the dirt. Yep. Zelensky said no. And so they sent Lev Parnas over there and a couple of his croonies to get the dirt. And then Lev Parnas went to prison. Mm, wow. He has been trying to tell the Democrat, he's been trying to tell the American people since 2019 that he was used, that he never found anything. It doesn't exist. Wow. He's lied to. He's also dropping names like Pete Sessions. 
when he was indicted. <laughs> wow. Spirator number five. And he said that was Pete Sessions. So he is dropping names as to these senators and these GOP people that were behind the conspiracy theory of Hunter Biden and Ukraine and Burisma <laughs> and Joe Biden. Yeah. And if you remember the whole guy named Smirnoff, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. He was the guy that lied to them and said that there was 10% to the big guy. Remember those? Yep. Lies? This is a Russian informant. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And also tied to the Trump org, by the way. Wow. And that has been discovered. He is, um, he's been indicted for lying about all of this. Why <laughs> am I not surprised? The, the impeachment. Oh, the maggot tears are yeah. so good. They're, de they're delicious. They're extra, extra mm. tangy, extra mm. spicy today. Mm. Mm. Oh, my God. The best it's ever tasted. I will be honest. I don't know if it's the... <laughs> <laughs> Yo, baby daddy, I have opposition in my life. All throughout the comments, I always have. There's That's opposition all in here. Yo, baby daddy? Yeah, That's yeah, yeah. Question. Everybody can request. Yeah. You guys just don't want to come up here because you have no facts. You can't yeah. pull up anything. Oh, thank you. Yeah. You can't yeah. pull up anything. You can't prove anything. You're a bunch of babbles. Listen to a MAGA Live yesterday and the, the absolute delusion that Donald Trump is going to win this election when mm. Nikki Haley literally won a county in Ohio. Wow. When she dropped out of the race. Mm. She beat Donald Trump in a county in Ohio, a red state. Wow. No longer in the race. And you're telling me that, that Donald Trump stands a chance. Tell him, tell him, Shay. Tell yo baby daddy. Yo baby daddy, listen to Shay. Daddy. One you don't know a thing. Oh, baby daddy. That means people don't want Donald Trump. Yeah. No Placebo. Tell him, Shay. No way he could. You win. have zero. How, how much credibility does your baby daddy have on TikTok, Shay? Oh, zip. Nada. Zero. No to listen to him. That's why he's on at three in the morning. He knows nobody. <laughs> Like, you're literally attracting zombies or something to you. I don't know what's going on there. But the rest of us have lives. I, I tried your baby daddy, but the, the, the people have spoken. Zero credibility. Zero. Yeah. But he got his degree from Snuggles University. Mm-hmm. Exactly. But this is why <laughs> I'm going to leave because I know we got to celebrate Fuzzard. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Jesus Dad, who is a Republican. Yes. Happy birthday. See, we... we, 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 we yep. But they're yeah. not politically astute. Nope. And not, that's clear. That's a big word for you, baby daddy. Astute. Mm -hmm. Politically astute. Go look that up, champ. All right. I know. I, I love know you it. guys in the kingdom. Everybody right. have a fantastic day. All right, Noel. All right. Happy birthday to everybody and love you all. All right. Love you too. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up to the beautiful Shay. What an incredible show, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Now we got to celebrate a birthday in the kingdom. You know what we must do? And then we're going to land the airplane, ladies and gentlemen. All right, Fuzzer. Are you here? All righty then, ladies and gentlemen, Fuzzard. <clears throat> Welcome back, brother. Sorry, we are well outside of my time. <laughs> now that's funny. That's funny. That was amazing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She she did uh, she did bring it home with that uh, MJ performance. But all right. <laughs> Let's sing happy birthday, ladies and gentlemen. You know what we came to do. I heard it was somebody's birthday. Hey! I heard it was somebody's birthday. Yeah. PJ Panda birthday up. song. Yeah. Yeah. Today is your birthday. We gon' say it loud. Hey! Today is your birthday. I know you're so proud. Happy today is your birthday. We gon' turn out. Kiss. Hey, hey! Throw a party, everybody bring it kiss. Hey! Got a new outfit and it's lit. Yeah, yeah. Best day of the year you can't miss. All my friends, ah. it's coming in. Yeah. And my parents, yeah. raise my allowance. Hey. Yeah, up and down. Up and down like an elevator. Sing it down. <laughs> yeah, today is your birthday. We gon' say Today is your oh. birthday. I know you're so proud. 
Enjoy the kingdom for a little while, nothing too crazy, and I'll probably see you this evening at DJ's. All righty then. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there's my good friend, Brother Frozer. Once again, happy birthday. Thank you very much. Right. Peace right. out. Well done. All right. Good day, guys. All right. You too, ladies and gentlemen. There he is. I mean, yeah, he's, he's definitely cooking with grease, hot grease, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Well, listen, the show was supposed to go until 8.30. We're 20 minutes outside of 8.30. That means the flight is a little delayed, but it's officially landed, and you're now free to depart the aircraft, all right? Take your seat belts off and grab your luggage, all right? <laughs> what an incredible show. We laughed together like no one's business, all right? And we had a lot of fun, didn't we, ladies and gentlemen? You all deserve a round of applause, all right? But a special round of applause to all of the panelists, right? To all of the gifters, to all of the subscribers, to my moderators, and actually to those who have birthdays today. You know, Fuzzard and Poker Dad, right? <laughs> all right. And you know what we got to do, ladies and gentlemen? We got to give one more round of booze and shame to the Zeus haters out there, our haters out there, our critics, our detractors, those like yo baby daddy clickbait and snuggles and all the Russian bears and all the fake TikTok hosts out there, the liars, the retributions, the conservative Democrat. One more round of booze and shame for them because they choose to dwell in lies and misinformation being peddled from Vladimir Putin and the Kremlin. They attack their own country like they did on January 6th by placing a dagger at the throat of our democracy. And they get on TikTok every day and spread lies and misinformation. For what? For what? These are some sick individuals. They are not Christians. They're fake Christians. They're not patriots. They're fake patriots, right? One more round of booze and shame. gentlemen take care and stay safe out there in those tiktok streets i really do need to get caught up on what's going on right now in this hearing about you know it, trying to impeach president biden stay safe what a show jesus christ oh you must have listened to my song yo baby daddy time's up yeah you do need to delete the app this is how i move when i'm walking like zeus. thank you Evan. this is how i sound when i'm talking like zeus this is how I stare when I'm looking like Zeus. Tell him, Takesha, great job, Takesha. Thank you, everyone. Rick, thank you, Rick. Yeah, whatever retribution, you are cringy, I agree. Mickey P, Tiffany, Colstead, DJ, thank you once again for being the best lazy liberal on TikTok, bro. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you at the show. Wakanda, I know you're out there somewhere. Keep up the great work. And you did a great job rinsing your baby daddy. He came and he got served. <laughs> Yazzy Jazzy. All right, Stacey Jones, Miss Baldiva, my partner in crime. Tiffany. 
Look at this red yes. They got Sir Reggie, my man Reggie. This is Sir Cole's man. Straight back. Wanda. G-Man. Angel. Wow, look at all this love. Mother. Oh, you see me riding in that thing, Coop? <laughs> you know, they're mad at me when you all do that. They get super mad when you do that to Zeus. I'm, I don't know why, but they're, I know. I think it's because they're jealous, right? Oh, well. All right. Yo, baby daddy, I hope you've learned something today. You need to work on building your platform and building with facts and truth, not lies and misinformation. You snuggles, university graduate. <laughs> California love and Miss Morning Star. Yes, easy mercy. <laughs> Marisol. Oh, yes, Reggie. I hope you're ready. We got a Jack Smith remix to sing. Woo! Hey, you know the God, boy, you're such a douche. Can you say that? <laughs> Joey, love you too, bro. These ladies love me, yeah, I'm the one that they choose. You know I'm so happy. Oh, you couldn't imagine. Well, you don't got an imagination in your baby daddy, but I couldn't imagine supporting Donald Trump the way you do. Think about that, your baby daddy. <laughs> No, 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 you let the comments ruin your day, your baby daddy, because see now I'm going to go to your live and watch you embarrass yourself. Here you go. Full stand. Wow. 11,000. Oh, right, right. One more that we have. Right, right. That's what got Bonnie Willis on your special behind. All right, Reggie. Tiffany, you ready for it too? Let's hit him with the Jack Smith remix. Let's go. He's deranged. Jack Smith. He's deranged. Jack Smith. He's deranged. Yeah. Jack Smith. He's deranged. Jack Smith. He's deranged. Jack Smith. He's deranged. Yeah. Jack Smith. He's deranged. Hey. It's Jack Smith. Hey. Here we go, ladies. Uh, Donald Trump is indicted and they take one, one charge and they turn it into 36 charges. charges. Oh my God. And he's a big Trump hater. Openly, he's a Trump hater. And his wife is even, even more of a Trump. Trump Actually, we're all Trump haters, yo, baby daddy. And by the way, yo, baby daddy, you know, I want you, I want you to remember this, all right? This is how Trump sounds when he's on the campaign trail and he thinks he's going to win. We're going to win so much. Remember? We're going to win at every level. Right. We're going to win economically. We're going to win with the economy. Oh. We're going to win with military. Oh. We're going to win with health care and for our veterans. Right. We're going to win with every single facet. Every. We're going to win so much, you may even get tired of winning. Dude. And you'll say, please, please, <laughs> it's too much winning. We can't take it anymore. Right, right. Mr. President. It's too much, and I'll say, no, it isn't. We have to keep winning. More. We have to win more. Oh. We're going to win more. Mm. He's going to win more. And then, yo, baby daddy, you want to know what happened after all that winning and Joe Biden won and not him? You remember this? This is what he did. He had such a big night. You just take a look at all of these states that we've won tonight, and then you take a look at the kind of margins that we've won by. And, and all of a sudden, it's not like we're up 12 votes and we have 60% left. Where's the energy? We won states, and all of a sudden, I said, what happened to the election? Oh. It's off. And we have all these announcers saying, what happened? And then they said, oh. oh. Because you know what happened? They knew they couldn't win. So they said, Let's go to court. And did I predict this, Newt? Did no. I say this? Did I've been I saying this from the day I heard they were going to send out tens of millions oh. of ballots. I said exactly. Oh. Because either they were going to win, or if they didn't win, they'll take us to court. Oh. So Florida was a tremendous victory. Oh, did I predict this, Newt? 76,000 votes with almost nothing left. Uh-oh. And all of a sudden, everything just stopped. Oh. This is a fraud <laughs> on the American public. What? This is an embarrassment to our country. What? We were getting ready to win this election. <laughs> Frankly, we did win this election. <laughs> I did! I 
can't with this guy. And you got folks like your baby daddy holding lives and they believe what this man said. <laughs> I can't, you can't make this stuff up. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I gotta get out of here. But before we do, you gotta drop the bomb. Do you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump? And you ain't black. You ain't black. You ain't nothing but a modern day slave. I'm out of here, ladies and gentlemen. Take care.